Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to BVTV. We are here for the BCIB Metropolitan Premier Division game. This is action here from Bundura Bowls Club, round eight. The match between Bundura and Altona. My name's Tony Sherwell, and I'm joined this evening by Tris Doolan. Good evening, Tris. Hello, Tony. Great to see you, as always. Thanks for having me. This is right on the start of end one. So first bowl now being put down... By the Bundura lead, Benny Cotter. Benny Cotter. He's using a, uh, a light blue and white halved Henselite XG. Run through all the other rinks and players as we go. It's actually not bad conditions now, Tris. It was been a swirling wind that was going to cause havoc. It's yep. dropped slightly. Yeah, it seems to have just come back a few knots. It can get very windy in Bundura, but it's a bit, it's it's okay as we speak, and I think the rain's going to hold off too, Tony. Fingers crossed. There's a great start from Haley, from Altona. Yeah, former uh, Victorian under-18 representative, yeah. Haley O'Reilly. Not that long ago, too, I'd imagine she'd only still be 18 or 19 years old. Yeah, a new addition and a good addition to the side. It's a fair response from Ben there. Yeah. A couple of late withdrawals from the Bundura team due to a bit of Virgin Australia strike action and some dodgy weather. So Corey Wedlock and Gary Kelly out of the team. Been replaced by Jesse Spicer and Caleb Shaw. So not a bad team when you bring in your club singles champion yeah, exactly. Caleb Shaw. I love their response from Haley O'Reilly. Gee, that's a great start from the Leeds, isn't it? It is. Yeah, when did Caleb win that at the club champs was last week, was it? Yeah, yeah, a couple of weeks ago. Very good. Newly crowned. And we have Adrian Marcioli playing number two for Bandura. 80. 80. You'll hear him referred to. He's using an aero, navy blue and white, aero optima. Finding it pretty well too. Very steady bowler. Yeah, lovely draw bowler. I'm a big fan of his. He's won a lot of things over the years. He has. 80 the vegan. Yes. Keeps himself nice and healthy. <laughs> he has a couple of state titles and a couple of national silvers in yeah, the pairs. Yeah, he does in the pairs. A couple of years ago with Benny Hubber and before that with Nick McIntyre. Slight loose one there from Bubba. Of course, it's Colin Davis. You'll hear us use his nickname every now and again. It's First in, so you expect the old loose one every now and again. He's another very experienced bowler. Bubba, been around for a long time. He has. On the Altona side. So we've got the Ben bookends for Bandura, the three Bs. We've got Benny Hubba skipping and uh, Ben Cotter leading yeah. for Bandura. Benny went through a couple of rings over That's as it. well. So. <laughs> we are just adjusting these uh, names on the scoreboard on the screen. Won't be too long until we get them changed with the late news. In fact, Aaron Wilson almost, well, he missed his flight as well and had to get another one for Altona. Uh, arrived with probably 15, 20 minutes to spare. So typical casual fashion of Aaron Wilson. Yep. Didn't bother him too much. Joined the family for the weekend. Yes, his younger brother's 35th birthday tomorrow. So a bit of a celebration in the Wilson household. That'd be a quiet affair, wouldn't it, for the Wilsons? I'd imagine so, yeah. Imagine they just sit around, have a couple of lemonades, <laughs> nice quiet chat. 
That should be an interesting conversation in their household as to who's the better bowler. Yes. Well, how many? Well, I've won in Australia. Well, so have I. <laughs> <laughs> I've won Commonwealth. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you win. <laughs> Sarah, Roger, uh, good evening to you. The green is a little bit tricky. It's absolutely beautiful, I might say, but with the wind, it's about 16 and a half. Against the wind, it's about 14 and a half, they were telling me. So. Um, beautiful speed. Yeah, look, it absolutely looks a peach. Um, they might have some region stuff here on Sunday as well. Yes, yep. The Yarra region has the men's singles uh, quarterfinal and final in yep. the afternoon. They've got the first. They've got three games on Sunday, and it is the women's triples final at 10 a.m. on Sunday too. Get down if you're in the area. Yeah, why not? Or uh, Phelps, he's been missed. Won a state pairs with 80 as well. So, oh, sorry, yeah, Phelpsy. Don't leave Phelpsy out. Sorry, no, Phelpsy. true. And I love Tommy Graham's comment. Seven more, it would have been Ben 10. I love it. <laughs> Kaz uh, has just asked, is this on Foxtel? Kaz, uh, uh, it's YouTube. YouTube I know that. and Facebook. There you go. You will find it. We'll see Cam Wilson for Altona with a green and gold. Hence, light splice. Got his weight bang on. This is Liam Turner on the mat. He's Posty. using a, uh, a light blue and white striped Optima. So a lot of blue and white stripes among the Bandura crew. So his nickname's Posty because he always delivers. Always delivers. Tell me. Yep. He's still only pretty young too and uh, holding down third in a Premier Division team is no mean feat. Mm. You're going to see a couple of loose ends in this wind. It's actually swirling probably more than what it was and uh, gusting a little bit more. It's quite a strong gust coming through as we speak. Yeah. It always goes through your mind when you're on the live stream and it's windy and you think, you know, people at home don't realise how difficult the conditions are. Mm. You just have to be closer than your opposition though, don't you? That's it. Uh, Ethan, the rink names are wrong. Yes, correct. We're just... Fixing that up now as we speak. Few late changes, Ethan. Benny Hubber just finds a gap. It wasn't far away. No, not far away at all. So just so everyone is aware, with a couple of changes to the Bundura team, we've got Benny Hubber against Matty Alol. That's this game we're watching. Dean O'Neill's up against Aaron Wilson. Josh Corliss comes in to skip up against Dane McKinnon. And Benny Winther is up against Nathan Wilson. Follow along with all those scores on Bowls Link. End by end scores being done by the players. So you will not miss a thing. All right, Benny's going to go again here. He didn't miss by much with his first. A very funny, Lee Stinson. Yeah. Nice to have you watching. This is very close. Down. He's That's gets a very the shot bowl through. Well played, and they are up and about early, Bandura. See this on the replay. He got that perfectly, didn't he? They had two options, either yep. take Haley O'Reilly's bowl out clean, if you're a little bit wide. You've got options on it. Well played, Benny Hubbard. See if Matty Lowell can Maddie's rise to the occasion. something similar, not quite as heavy. It's a good effort, just yeah, not quite coming back. Away. There's a three to a Bandura to open the account. That's a big bowl, isn't it, from the skipper to start you off. That's cracker. a four, four shot turnaround. Didn't miss by much with his first one. Yep. Second one. In spot the... on. Let's see our cameras just bouncing around a little bit every now and again in the wind. There is a bit to it. Killed end over on the far rink. Benny Winther up against Nathan Wilson, so no shortage of firepower over there. Yeah, I suspect there might be a few dead ends over there. Yeah, absolutely. Luke Aello playing third to Dean O'Neill 
a rink over too, so there'll be a fair bit of firepower there too. Looks like Bandura picks up a single on the Dean O'Neill rink. That's Dean O'Neill up against Aaron Disco Wilson. Stream tonight brought to you by Dandenong Club and Moama Bowls Club, both strong supporters of Bowls in Victoria. Produced by the lovely Brad from SEN. Does a terrific job for us each and every week. Of course, we'll bring you Vic Open, we'll bring you state championships, VBL later in the new year. It's a perfect start from Ben Cotter there. Mm. Get his confidence What's up. Haley got? She's close. Not too far away at all. Great reply, Haley. Yeah. Second shot. Yep, opens it Top up board. a touch. Well, Tana will have a little bit of a point to prove tonight. They've had two washouts in their last two matches, Tris, which always makes it a little difficult. Yep, and they were against Deer Park and, and Mooney Valley. Valley. They're actually yeah. leading Mooney Valley, a red-hot Mooney Valley. shots up, weren't they? Yeah. Mm. And uh, unfortunately washed out for them, so sees them sitting sixth on the ladder and Bundura sitting fifth. So it's only five points, isn't it? Yeah, but it's an important match, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's huge. We've only got two matches before the mid-season break. So you want to make every post a winner at this yeah, particular this juncture of the season. Yeah, season, it's brutal too. It is. You've got to... Every, every game. That's more like Bubba in the yep. game. It's a pretty good track from Adi Marcioli. Boom. And that's so important because even though they were holding, they've pl he's played their shot. Yep. Taken it away from them. They do that and you're two or three down. It was very Alpine exposed there that. with bowls either side. Was going to mm. set up a target. Yeah. It wasn't going to stay. Sometimes at this level of bowls, it's about getting the shot before your opposition does. Yeah. Sometimes both aiming for the exact same shot. Just hanging out on him there, just a wee bit. Yeah, I mean, even if you play it and you give it away and you're one down, you've taken that shot away where they get a number. Yep. Liam Turner on the mat. Good evening, Brad. Hope you're well. Pretty sure you'd be able to pick who the co-host is for sure. Just the boss man himself. I'm just the ring in. <laughs> Lovely bowl oh, from Liam shot. Turner. Absolute peach. Yeah, good afternoon to you, Bradley Marin. Hope you're well. Uh, there's a long list of people that commentate for Bowls Victoria, and they were all unavailable. <laughs> we got to about 32 <laughs> on the list, and they said, let's just throw Sherwell in there. We've got no one else. <laughs> so unfortunately, you're stuck with me tonight. Uh, I'll do my best to uh, just be quiet and let Tristall do all the heavy lifting. Hey, hey, hey. What I will say, just watching Posty, it's only the second end, but he's he's been given an opportunity to play third. He's come up. He's So far, he's grabbed that opportunity, hasn't he? Yeah, he sure has. That's a great shot, Chopper. A couple of rings over. That's, of course, Josh Corliss. Presume that uh, they thought you'd be busy signing autographs, Benny. 
right, what can Liam Turner do? Doesn't want to turn up the bowl of Bubba. I don't think there's any change. Still holding two. How's Cam Wilson going here, Tress? He's close. Needs to get down. Just hanging it's on not him. Quite coming back from yeah. that hand out that high, but uh, Catherine, you are now my favourite. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. I tell you what makes for good commentary is good games, and That's I reckon true. we're going to have that tonight. This Altona outfit has got plenty of stars. Bandura, very similar. Speaking of stars, Benny Hubber on the mat using a uh, Hensel Light XG. How's he Does looking? He had the trip. He had the trip. Yep, he did. Just swung early on him. Yeah, spot but on, Benny. Trish Doolan is a legend. Very awesome. We are very fortunate to have her in commentary tonight. Oh, thanks, Benny. It's close, isn't it? Matty Alal working off. Oh, it's just fallen out. I, I think it's probably still in for second shot. Looks like it. Gets one out. Good evening to you, Joyce, from Port Macquarie. Glad to have you watching tonight. Simon Norton saying that post is a solid choice. That's Liam Turner. Yeah, he does. He bowls very well. Certainly been doing it in the early stages of this match. Always delivers. That's it. Brad. Just a touch short Switched for hands Benny Hubbard. Yeah. It's always hard when you don't get two looks at the same shot. Benny Lyle's got a chance here at three if he can squeeze the jack past the shot. He ball. likes it. He likes it. He's close. Not far away, Tris. He's very close here. He's got it. Yeah, Great that is shot. Bang on. It's made he a gets couple. Gets up and about and draws some high fives from neighbouring rinks. That one is sort of sitting there to be played. Two down. Two, two to Altona. Two or three? Um, oh, it is. That's Posty's ball at the back. It is two. Yeah. Well played, Matty Alal. A very, very good player. Very experienced player himself. Ex-state bowler. Yeah. yeah. Not wrong. Is that Melbourne for, for two years? For two states. Western Australia and Victoria. Yeah. Geelong boy originally. Been back here in Victoria for some time now. In fact, I first met him in Western Australia. Did Over you? there, he was training with the, what we used to call back in the day, the NTC squad, the National Training Centre squad in WA. Because, uh, of course, you were based over there, weren't you? I wasn't based there, but right. I spent a lot of time over there um, with my previous role at Bowls Australia mm -hmm. some years ago. Funky's in the comments too. Very kind of you, Funky. I don't know whether Jimmy's just spitting his cereal out. <laughs> Speaking of Bowls Australia... Bowls Australia selector Dave Stockham is in the comments. Evening, Dave. Hope you're well, mate. Speaking of hope you're well, Ray Pretty too. Star started line up in the comments yeah. tonight. Yeah. Axel was on there earlier too. I saw yeah. Brett Foley. We certainly Next do want Altona. a close game. And we love that we've got people watching from all over the world, including Michael Moore from Dublin. He's watching Haley O'Reilly on the mat now. A bit fresh over there in Dublin, wouldn't it? A bit yeah, cold. I'd imagine so it's this time of year. Oh, great shot, Look at Hayley. this. She's been very good shot. early. She's very used to the live stream now. She's mm. been on a few times. Her family were telling me it doesn't phase her one little iota, which is great. Yep. He's saying Bandura is his little brother's club. Who's yeah, your little brother? I was brother? thinking that too. I was going to yeah. ask the question. He'll let us know. They are tricky conditions here. You will see 
couple of loose ones every now and again, but it's nice to hear a bit of support across the green. Then yelling out Haley. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Stevie Baker just saying that their school is coming up on the live stream. Yeah, they won't be far away. We've just had to change the names. But Corey Wedlock and Gary Kelly uh, not being able to make it down to Melbourne due to some strike action among the airlines. So some late changes, which means we're just changing our graphics now. Evening, Casper. Um, you can follow along uh, with the scores on Bowls Link. We'll give you end by end scores as done by the players. Nino is in Port Ferry, South Melbourne VFL legend. So, well done, Nino. I don't know Bob Mallet, do you? Uh, South Melbourne VFL is just a touch before my time. I'm only 21, Tris. So. <laughs> okay. There you go. John is Enjoy fairly that. new at the club and loving it, so it's good to hear. Evening, Pidge. Hey, Pidge. Hope you're well. Bubba's got perfect weight here. It's just yeah, spot on. on him a bit. Good evening, Faye Winther. Yes. We've seen um, Benny and Caitlin are here and little Dave. Okay, so Cam's walking down to the mat. He's probably holding one. Probably just try and draw another here. Backhand. Quite warm out here, but the wind's probably keeping it a little cooler. It's going to frustrate some players throughout the evening. What's your strategy for playing through the wind, Tris? Oh. <laughs> just, just cross your fingers. <laughs> well, as soon as you start allowing for the wind, it'll stop or it'll gust or, you know, yep. I think you've just got to accept that there's going to be some loose bowls and you have a little laugh if that happens. You used to get really frustrated. But you've heard that saying, wind in your face, increase your pace. Yep. Wind up your butt. Oop. Take more grass. <laughs> Something That's like that. That's how I'm saying yeah, it. Yeah, you almost cleaned <laughs> it up. <laughs> <laughs> I did. You're almost better off not worrying when a wind's swirling like this and just trying to play for what the shot is. Absolutely. And and people get caught up on whether you play the, with the wind or against mm. it. That's that's a great shot. Good second. Haley O'Reilly still holding on for shot for Altona. I think it's often kinder to play with the wind. What do you think? Uh, you know me, I like to run into a headwind. So. <laughs> it's hard to know if this wind is head and tail or a cross wind, actually. Yeah, well, it was sitting. it was head and tail earlier, but it, as we say, it is sort of swirling a little. It is so. a bit. Now we are just working on these live scores uh, for those asking, so it shouldn't be too long until we can get the graphic back up. Can tell you, the lead currently on this rink is Benny Hubba three and Maddie Lull two, so the lead to Bandura. No truth to that one, Bradley Marin. I'm uh, with Rosanna these days. Oh, Maddie just going to collect the front bowl. Gives it a bit of a... As he walked past. He knew too, straight yeah, away. Yeah, he did. There's not much he hasn't seen on a bowling green. Hi, Jane. Yes, we must chat. Jane will be watching down on the Ballerine Peninsula yeah. tonight. Yeah. 
just blast through them, don't you, Blake? Isn't that the way to go? Oh, oh. I don't think that's how he designed it. So oh. There won't be any applause there, but uh, it does happen sometimes. It's bowls, isn't it? It is. It does happen. You do find throughout a game, though, they sort of even themselves out, really. They yep. go both ways. They do, and the key to that is not to get too concerned about it. As frustrating as it is. Tim Wallace says, looking forward yes, to tomorrow. Timmy. Are you up against Lilydale, are you? Yes, we are. Ah, yeah. It'll be a good match. Yeah, it will be. Looking forward to seeing the gang at Lilydale. Tim's, Tim's playing three. Yeah, yeah he's been playing very well. Playing awesomely, I'm Made the region that. side too. Yes. So congrats, yeah, Tim Wallace. Yeah, congrats, yeah. Tim. All right. What's Manny doing here? He's going to try and take the ball out. Yep. So Benny's still got another shot here. How daring does he get with this Trist? Does he try and attack mm. Haley O'Reilly's purple bowl? Or? I think he can just, I mean, even if he backslices the jack, it's, um, it's Posty's bowl, isn't it? The blue and it white is. catcher. Yep. Yep. And 80, so he's... Need to do a bit of work from there, but no harm, no foul. Yep. It'll be one to Bandura. 4-2. We played three ends. Come back from Corey Woodlock. Nathan Black says, uh, shouldn't you be playing? And Corey Woodlock shouldn't you be winning world titles? <laughs> Congrats, uh, Nathan Black, on your bronze in the mixed pairs, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. Um, and good luck for the rest of the event. The world under-25s over in the UK. Go well. And uh, speaking of congrats, Vinnie McElwain's in the comments. Club singles champion this year. What a star. Yeah, at his new club too. Yeah. Well, no, I think he's on a permit for Yarraville and won the club singles at Trelgan. Oh, was it? I okay. could be wrong. Oh, but, okay. Uh, yeah, lucky you're there to get the details. I'm pretty sure I'm right. So Dean O'Neill's rink just picked up a couple too. So he's 6-0 um, yeah. now after three. Just a reminder, you can follow along with all the scores on Bowlslink. Interesting the length that Bandura are choosing to play as well here. I thought that might be a consideration considering Altona have a pretty short, mm. quick green. Altona, um, Bandura's green is quite a bit longer. I yep. thought they would stretch it out and they have. Right. Both the Haley Bowl are behind the jack there. They're in the game, especially at this level. You're allowed to have a little bit of a looser end, but if you're behind the jack, you're still absolutely in the game. saying good track here for big Colin Davis That's the shot bowl
What's Haiti got? He wasn't far away with his first. Oh, I think Sarah Roger could be the nicest person in bowls, Tris. Present company excluded, of course. <laughs> What's she saying? She said something nice about Yeah, you. she always does. Great to hear you, Tris, you and Tanya. Great combo in the commentary. She is. She's just a good egg. She really is. Good effort there from Adrian Marcioli. Doesn't change it, though. Still down one on the head. A couple of seconds. Sarah, of course, won the Region 4s. Yes, she did. Yeah. Must be close to announcing the Metro West uh, region side as well. Yeah. I reckon that'll happen in the next day or two. Yeah. yeah. Two good bowls there from Colin. Yeah. Anything in behind was yeah. good. Absolutely, she is Barbara Green. See in the background some of the Rocon signs. That's one of the uh, Bundura Bowls Club sponsors. And over 20 yeah. years, they've become one of Victoria's leading civil works contractors. Uh, trusted partnerships, and they build with their clients and the community, turning visions into reality and challenges into solutions. That's Rocon. What they promise is what they deliver. That's their commitment. How long have they been a sponsor? I think they're fresh on board yeah. here at Bundura, which great. is great to see. Bundura Bowls Club doing some good stuff. And, uh, the support of Rocon allows nights like this to happen. Yeah, it's great to see people getting on board with the sponsors, isn't it? It's good for the sport. Just a reminder, we are just rebuilding this uh, graphic with yeah. the late changes in players due to some virgin flights. Uh, so as soon as that's done, we'll put the scores back on the screen. But in the interim, you can jump on the bowls link and get in by in scores. What we can tell you so far is uh, the lead here of four shots to two to Benny Hubba over Matty Alola. That's Bandura over Altona. Couple of rings over, Dean O'Neill is leading Aaron Wilson 6-0. Played three ends there. It's locked at uh, one shot apiece in the match of Josh Corliss against Dane McKinnon. And uh, with a killed end early, Nathan Wilson for Eltona leads one zip over Benny Winther. There you go, Chris Green's just let us know there's a final trial on Tuesday the 12th at Deer Park and then the team will be uh, announced gotcha. not long okay. after that. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, Chris. One of the stars of uh, the game made yeah. the move from New South Wales down mm. to Victoria yes. not long ago and now yes. playing for Deer Park alongside his great mate Mark Casey. Yeah. And uh, absolute pleasure to have him anywhere near Victoria. Andrew Lynn. Good evening to you, mate. Uh, I think you're in, having a bit of time off, actually, so I hope you're enjoying that. Getting a chance to relax and maybe tuck into a little temperanillo. Benny just turning his back on that one. He yeah. realised straight out of the hand. Just missed it on that one. Yeah, spot on. Uh, Benny Cooks a lot. This bowls link scoring system is absolutely brilliant. You can watch it from anywhere in the world. You can know exactly what's going on on any given rink. You can follow your favourite players, work out whether they picked up one, two, three, or whatever it may be. Or an eight. Or an eight. Could be. Could well be. Matty likes this. He's stalking yeah, it. He's stalking it. Great. Yeah, it's a great shot. Another spin, and it does. Well played, Matty Alol. Hey, what he's looking big too. He's got shoulders on his shoulders, Matty Alol. Mm. He's in the zone. He is. Mm. He is. He was supposed to have a fight last weekend, and uh, got called off. So he hasn't really had a chance or a requirement to slim down with all the muscle loss. Mm. So he's still looking huge. Oh, and Aaron Wilson, a big leap. 
from the rink next door. Still a couple of bowls to come, but uh, yeah, very happy with that shot. Here goes Benny. It's not a mile away, Truce. It's close. This is not it's, a mile he's away. He's got it. Uh, stays in. Let's see it's if we can tilt Tona. the camera down slightly and see. It's hard to tell the difference between. Yeah, I'm going to say it's one to Altona. The light blue Bubba's will be Bubba's bowl. bowl. Yeah. And then Eight. a couple of seconds for Bandura. So, Matty will I'll just have to negotiate the traffic, see if he can add a second one in. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. I don't know what that means. Interesting comments. <laughs> Sometimes. It could be taken a number of ways, really, couldn't it? <laughs> All right, what's Maddie got with this one? Switched hands, drawing to the plinth. It's a good one to practice, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, what? He's close. It's a pretty good effort. Yeah, he's, he's got a count. It does. It's numero uno. Tuck to level. Four shots apiece. We played four ends on this stream drink. Seen some big shots from Benny Hubba, some big shots from Matty Alol. Some quality leading. Haley O'Reilly's been very good early. Yep. Liam Turner with a couple of good ones. Adi Marcioli playing well, so can't argue so far. Nice. Even match. Evening, Brendan Elliott. And yes, Matty O'Reilly has been a great pickup for yeah, our trainer, hasn't he? Yeah, definitely. From Melbourne. Yeah, it's um, you know it's a big move. Um, Melbourne's been so successful over so many years, but terrific for uh, Altona. Mm -hmm. Anytime you get the opportunity to get Matty alone on your team, you've got to take that with both hands. Here's Hayley again. Looks to me like Aaron Wilson may have picked up a four. Right. He did on the rink next door, so hence the... Uh, well, I reckon he jumped about eight foot into the air. <laughs> he did. So they uh, now trailed just by one. They were down six. Actually scratched that. They picked up a five. Yeah, so they were down six thought, zip yeah. and they picked up a five. So even better. Still no change on the rink next door. Scoreboard still showing one all after two ends. And the far rink is two, two ends gone. And uh, Nathan Dogger Wilson yeah. has picked up singles on both Is ends. It? And then again, there's just that gust of wind that's going to be a little bit difficult for players. Going to mean we'll see a couple of loose bowls. Oh, that's a good shot, Ben Cotter, especially in these conditions. Yeah. He's had a couple of very good ends too, Benny Cotter. Yeah. I haven't seen him play a lot, so we be keen to watch him tonight. Well, he played for Altona a long way back, I think. Right, OK. People can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. And then he went off to Perth for a few years for work. Great. Great shot there from Bubba. Sat the shot bowl. And now he's back. And now he's back. Yeah. Evening to you, Todd Trewarn. Yes, we are. We uh, just updating our scoreboard graphics. We had Corey Wedlock and... Um, yeah. And Gary, Gary Kelly, Kelly, unfortunately, not able to make it, given a bit of what we hear is a bit of strike action at uh, Virgin Australia. So um, we just had to rebuild it. It's always risky, isn't it, with fly-ins? It, it is. is. That, that is, a bit of that is this the risk. Yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't affect any fly-ins tomorrow for you. Yeah. Well, we've got yeah two coming in at half past Lurchie ten. and yep. Nathan Ross and uh, I presume Barry, Barry. Lester's back from yep. his jaunt over in the Philippines. Philippines, yeah. Yeah, a couple That's of pretty good bowls from two Bubba. Two up. Good shots. Oh, there you go. Tommy Hicks saying Benny Cotter was a Lara teammate as well. There you go. Yeah, that's Tommy. Thank you. Appreciate that, Tommy. Mm. You've got to love this. We've got uh, Alex saying it's a bit fresh here in Scotland. <laughs> Dillis Kinley sides from New South Wales saying it's a bit hot here. It's 45 or forecast to be 45 in Swan Hill today. So. Wow. Can be quite warm, yep. and they're playing a match tonight. Actually, Murray Downs, Joshy Thornton's team are playing a match right. tonight up there. So best of luck to them. 
actually not 100 percent sure who they're playing against so i like the warm nights if it's 45 degrees it'll be a pretty warm night yeah I think. absolutely anthony briggs saying benny cotter was at bundy and he went to perth ah yes okay yeah i think i do recall this story now went over there to work for a couple of years i think and came back Uh, JT actually coming down to play on a promotional permit for uh, Brunswick tomorrow. Oh, good. So for fans of Joshy Thornton, of which there are many, get out to Sunbury and uh, watch him take on Sunbury. Yeah. I saw JR's on here watching. Yeah, well, of course, he's over there coaching Nathan Black and uh, Jesse Cattell. Yeah. Uh, Scotty Majon, the rink scores hopefully aren't too far away. You can follow them along on Bowls Link. We're just... Rebuild on the graphics as we speak, so hopefully it won't be too far away. We just Maybe. put that on replay. You can just keep saying that, I know, that, I know. <laughs> yeah. Maddie West saying uh, they only got to 40 in Mildura, so oh. only 40. Only 40. Ah, oh, playing Mullamine. Thank you, Rowdy. You're spot on. I should have remembered that. My bad. Mullamine. Uh, sorry to hear of your news, Rowdy. I hope you get a good break over Christmas before you get back into things in the new year, mate. Kangaroo did just swish past Sarah. <laughs> Doesn't get much past you, do we? Yeah, good bowl there from Ken Wilson. It's probably three to Altona now. Yep. A lot of Wilsons in this team. There's four of them. Elaine. Welcome. Elaine's the treasurer in Yarra Region and she's over in the UK, so she's watching from the UK tonight. Member at Elfington is Elaine. Oh, posted just a touch short. Had his line absolutely bang on. Uh, Brendan Miller, I'm not 100% sure. Whether Brendan Miller is at Bundy? Yep, not sure. Mm. Matty didn't like that one. No. Again, had his line right. Yeah. Two and a half yards short. It's just that mental thing, isn't it? He's probably thinking, I don't want to pop the jack. I'm holding three. Yeah. Be a little bit chicken with it, as they say. A little bit. Still got one bowl to come. Yeah. Of course, the downside is Benny Hubba has two. <laughs> Jimmy Yates just saying Ben along with a few others. One junior singer. Which, which Ben? Mm. Jimmy? We've got one a few. Of, one of three. <laughs> two in this ring. What's this Benny got? He's trying to get down. The weight was pretty good. Yeah, don't mind the weight at all. What's Matty done here, Tris? He's close. He's close here. He needs to just run a little bit. Still get in the back door. It's close. But it's hard to tell from here. Probably yeah. a measure for four for Altona. Big bowl here from Benny Hubba. He's Might improved have. the bowl of Liam Turner, but I don't know if it's enough. Didn't quite catch what that was mm. score-wise, so we'll... And I presume it was three, but I can see A.D. Marcioli updating the scores on his phone now, yeah, so we'll find out very soon. 
we go. We've got scores on the screen as well. So thank you very much to Brad for yep, um, three. SEN. So three more. Oh, well done, Brad. Altona. So Altona now up 5-4 in this rink on five ends. That's a great start from Haley. It's interesting because Altona are playing slightly shorter ends. Which makes sense given their green. What's Ben got? Disco picks up another two on the rink next door. They now lead 7-6 over Dean O'Neill. After being down 0-6. Yeah. Yeah. Momentum. It ebbs and flows, doesn't it? it sure does. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. Ben Cotter. Won a title. Of course, Jimmy Yates has won quite a few titles himself over the years. Hope you're well, has, Jimmy. Yeah. Yep. Legend of the game. Yep. As Cotter just draws a front hopper. Thanks, Dave. Dave Stockholm just reminding us that Nathan Black is going for gold tonight in the under-25s in Scotland. Ah, there you go. Yep. Am I correct, Stocky, that he won um, a bronze in the mixed pairs? Let me know in the comments. So I did say that earlier, so I you hope did, I'm correct. Yeah. I don't want to give him bad info, but Stocky will let us know. He's a good fella, Stocky. Got a great eye for good bowlers, that's for sure. Wind is really gusting here now, Tony, isn't it? It is. Can't say I'm feeling great under the uh, marquee, but look, if we float away, Tris will be <laughs> Dorothy or someone. Is it Mary Proffins with yeah. her umbrella or the Wicked Witch in uh, whatever? What do you call me? <laughs> <laughs> like everyone's got pretty good weight here, but the wind is really pushing the bowls around. So Jode's saying it was only one. So I thought they signalled one, but I also thought they were holding three. So sorry, Joe. Good pick up. Yep. We are um, just in the process of getting our scores right, which I think we've done our now. Our scores right. Surprised you're on the down there, actually, Joe. Yeah, I thought she'd be here. Or maybe you are, and you're watching on the stream as well. I know Pauline Skinner's coming down. Mm -hmm. Josh is... Chops, Mum. Time over yeah. this one, Tris. Liam Turner just consulting his skipper, making sure they get the right plan. Yeah, I think he's going to be playing the backhand, just looking in that little drop zone there. Cover and counter be nice, but just cover, I think, is what the call is. Liam Turner using a light blue and white Optima. 
Size three. Yeah, Benny Hubbard saying that's a good spot. So Jack's effectively going to spit back into that spot. It'll sort of come five o'clock as we look at that screen. Stocky confirming they did get yep. a bronze in a very tight game. Oh, extra end. There you go. Thank you, Gareth. Appreciate that. Oh, well, Cam Ooh. Wilson, unfortunately, has just pushed in an oppo bowl. Yep. And he's sat it almost in front and behind, so... Two now to Bandura. Still plenty left in this end. And there we go. Good skipping from yep. Benny Hubbard. So we'll some cover. Quite deep, knowing what the plan's going to be from Altona after this bowl. <laughs> Haley's just trying to get out of the way at the last minute. And <laughs> she doesn't want to move while he's on the mat. She kind of got stuck there. <laughs> <laughs> can't say this these days, but she was in no man's land. She no person's, <laughs> no person's land. land. Yeah, that's pretty much a touch of there. That's perfect. Does it kill if they flush that front bowl, Tris? It's got to be close to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like it's going to squeeze out. And then How squeeze out towards the Rokon side. Exactly. Rokon, one of Bundura Bowls Club's new sponsors, Civil Engineers. Just started a new partnership with Bundura Bowls Club, so well done to all parties. Are they based out here, Bundura? Uh, that's a really good question, I but I think there is a connection with it the club, be. so it wouldn't yeah. surprise me. It's not a big target, to be fair, for Matty no, here. It's like not. It's He's not playing with weight. He's no, just he's just arriving. trying to squeeze it. Yeah. Just a touch under, mm. though. Pay Weight's really that. good for it. I mean, the, the A1 shot is just squeeze the jack back a foot and a half. And he'll pick up both of Haley O'Reilly's and at least one of Cam Wilson's. Yep. It has to be perfect surgical, though, doesn't it, really? Because it goes yeah, any further and does. you've got Posty sitting there at the back. But he'll have confidence because heading this way a couple of ends ago, he was able to peel yep. the jack straight off. And, I mean, he's two down anyway. Yeah. Nothing to lose, really. Oh. Yeah, well, it's probably worked out all right. I was worried he might make the target a little wider. Yeah, but he wouldn't, wouldn't want that sitting jack it's not high. Much wider, yeah. More weight here from Matty Alol. Uh, Got two, two out. out. Well yeah, played. good shot. That was not a big target. No. He hit his target. He hit it spot on. Bit of a stiff a result. A little bit unlucky. He didn't yeah. get more contact on the jack, but see this on the replay. Two bowls clean out. Still down one, and Benny Hubbard has a chance to add one. Bundura pick up three shots on the rink next door for Dean O'Neill. Great commentary, despite being 35th choice. <laughs> I said 33rd. Who's, who's dropped me down a couple of spots? <laughs> uh, thank All you, right. Tony. What's Benny got here? This you is really important person. to add. Well, his first bowl was spot on. Just going to get there. Not quite, I don't believe. Fair effort, though. It is. It is. It will be one to Bandura, I think. Just wait for confirmation. Hopefully, Posty will look over. Not quite. We are kind of hidden under a marquee. I oh know, they can't see us. Just given this wind, the marquee's been dropped to quite a low level. Oh, I'll go out in a limb, Tris, and I'll say it was one. Pretty fortunate here, Tris, really, aren't we? I mean, 
BCIB Metropolitan Premier Division, and we're bringing in Commonwealth Games gold medalist Aaron Wilson playing for Altona. Of course, he's won an Australian Open singles, as has his brother playing in the same team. We've got state representatives galore, state title holders, all playing in our very own backyard. Totally spoiled. So if you get the opportunity, come on down to Bandura Bowls Club tonight. It's a lovely evening, actually. Now. It is. Fingers crossed it stays that way. Not only is it a lovely evening, but Benny Cotter, the lovely Leeds Bowl, matched by Hayley O'Reilly. He's got a very good weighted shot, has Matty Alol. Benny, stick yeah. around watching him. And, uh, There's nothing too complicated about that no. weighted shot either. It's just keeping it simple. It's not crazy speed. No, it's controlled. Yep. Two good leads bowls. Yeah. For Benny Cotter. This is turning out to be a great battle between these two, actually. It is, yeah. He's using a Hensolite XG size 3. Haley O'Reilly also using a Hensolite XG size 3. Is there about again? Yep. Good Get bowls. Some, uh, positive feedback from our skipper, Matty Alol. 16 all on the big board. But we have just had some scores added for Nathan Wilson. They've just picked up a four. So they played three ends over on that far rink. He's mm. leading six zip. Puts Altona out to a bit of a lead. They've had a few dead ends, I think, too, over there. Mm. D-Mac picks up another single. 80 draws another here. It's all happening. Yep. Oh, just pulling up there, but his line was good. See if AD can double up here. This is Four probably the shortest in. end they've played all night. Mm -hmm. And you can sort of see we've got three bowls within a mat width. How? Huh? Yeah, just a huge gust of wind yeah. right there as that bowl's about halfway down. Got so. him. Did you say you're playing at Lilydale tomorrow or at home? Lilydale tomorrow. Lilydale. Yep. How are you finding the new club? Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's it's um, it's not it's not that new in that I've played night pennant with yeah. these guys a couple of years ago, and I've got a lot of friends there, and it's nice to play with some of the girls that I play in the region with anyway. So um, yeah, great crew down there at Richmond. You and Sammy Atkinson reunite after your triumph over in Perth. That's right, yeah. This year, a massive result for Victoria. First time in 19 years that our Lightning team's been able to secure the Marge Morris Trophy. So congrats to you and the team, of course. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it was a great time. Like, it's something to, to, win, to win a title with pairs or triples or whatever is one thing. But to win it in a team like that of 12 was really something special. I'll remember forever, that's for sure. Mm. Absolutely. I mean, Sammy's going great guns too at Pennant. She's uh, she's picked up two eights in the last three weeks. <laughs> she's a good aggressive player. She is. of uh, good players. Yeah, how is that for a shot? Posty just trails the jack back slot. That's Liam Turner, nicknamed Posty. And he delivered. He did. He certainly so did. Is that three to Bandura? He can keep the nickname. Uh, yes, like three at this stage. I don't think fourth gets in, but... Yeah, it was a terrific achievement. We were at, uh, absolutely stoked for our women's team and, of course, all the selectors, coaches, volunteers, mm. team managers that uh, assisted throughout their campaign. So well BV, done to them. BV being kind enough to send us over and do a little reconnaissance, whatever they call it, the, a month prior to have a look at the place and familiarise ourselves. That all helps. It does. Even though it wasn't a success, that particular test series, but it gives us a chance to know where we're going to be and that kind of does help. Absolutely. Trial a couple of different combinations mm -hmm. if you need mm -hmm. to be familiar with the surface, the conditions, the clubhouse, the location, the weather. Yep. 
all good stuff. All right, here's Posty. Can you double up? Go for a bit of coverage. A little bit, yeah. Happy home, they'd say. Yep, it's a thumbs up from Skipper Benny Winter. <laughs> oh, that's not ben. very nice, Benny. <laughs> North of the river, we're at lovely Sorrento. For the Marge Morris, this is bang on target. Well played. That's a great shot, Cam. Three down to one down. He actually yeah. had a bit of a cider with his first and good enough with his second was Cam Wilson. He's also using a Henselight XG. It used to be called the Splice in my mind. I don't know where they still are. Or maybe I'm completely making it up. But the Splice was sort of that yeah, it was. Yep. style and then they'd come in various colours. Yep. I was very familiar with the, the white with the blue Splice. Carla Krasanek. Correct. Exactly right. Years. Beck Van Ash was another one that used them at national level. Dean O'Neill has just drawn the shot cold over on the rink next door. Absolute beauty. Just pulling up on Benny there. I saw him at the crossover. He's really pumping his rink up there. It was good yep. to see. Well, they, they have. That like, was a good end. Four or five bowls within a mat width. The talent scouting going on over the green. Some boys from Mooney Valley. Here to watch some good bowls and maybe work out what they can do next time they come up against these two teams. Dylan Fisher over there. Yep. Snap. That is not far away. You might get a little straighten here. Not the way he designed it. Different. Yep. He's done any damage. But skippers both at one bowl to come. Uh, pick up another one on the Dean O'Neill rink. They started off with a bang, got the first three ends, did Dean O'Neill's rink. Yeah, they got away to 6 0, didn't they? Yeah, and then <coughs> they dropped to 5. They're now leading 10 7 after 7 ends. Bandura is on the board for Benny Winter fans. He's just picked up a single. Still trailing, but uh, That's a on the way back. Great shot from Ben Harper. Mm. Squeezed it in there. Okay, see see the, on replay? the replay. <laughs> Navigating. Little traffic. I only saw the finish. You didn't see the little slide. No, yeah, that was up there in the scores. So, yes. <laughs> Sometimes. But his weight was good. Yeah, they've had a couple of time, things go in their favour tonight, but. As you said earlier in the call, Tris, sometimes they go your way, sometimes mm. they go the other. That's right. Tony Angel with some intelligent comments, bowling into a 40k headwind. That is true. It is He's hard Maddie. work. He's close. Mm, takes out his own bowl, but I don't think it changes too much. I think Haley's is still third. Yep. So two more to Benny Hubbard. Played seven ends of our 21 here across the four rinks. That's 84 ends. And we're about just over a quarter of the way through. Happy birthday to Jimmy for tomorrow. That's the reason he's having a night off commentary tonight. Either that or we couldn't quite afford him, so we've had to go for the budget version of me and put all our money into Triss. Is Jimmy out celebrating tonight? He's going to have a very quiet night. His Birmingham footy team are playing tomorrow morning at 7am. Then he's got a bit of a day planned tomorrow, I think. So happy birthday to Jimmy. Great start there from Ben Cotter. Turning 40 is Jimmy tomorrow. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, he's not. <laughs> it could be more, but it, I know it's yeah. a, there's a four somewhere. Got to be. 24 then. Certainly not 24. <laughs> it's closer to 40 than 24, I can do that. <laughs> Haley O'Reilly just edging the jack. Yeah, just Wanted touch to it gobble though. it up at it's that It's in pace. the game. Yeah, 
That's two very good That's lead balls. Good. It's just this time now, Tony, the bewitching hour when it's not quite dark and it's still, mm. it's, I find depth perception can be a bit tricky at this time of night. But of course, they're a bit younger than me, so. Happy birthday to my wife's goddaughter, who turns three today as well, so there you go, it's all happening. Aidy on the mat. Of course, Aidy runs his own business in commercial cleaning. He does. Anyone needs any commercial cleaning, reach out to Aidy Marcioli. Some cleaning of bowling greens as well now. Yeah, he does Branched too. Branched out a little. Yeah. So those with synthetic greens, yep. give them a deep clean every now and again. Aidy Marcioli is your man. Matty Wilson just played a bomb next door. Some big high fives from his yeah. brother Disco. Just going to slide under. Yeah, weight's good. Yeah. Excellent draw bowler, Adrian Marcioli. Watching him in the roll-up, he still didn't miss too many, and the wind was awful in the roll-up. Yep. It was real tough. That's Dale a great with shot. A big drive. Yeah, well played. I mean, they know this green back to front too, and I think that particular yep. hand with that swoops quite a bit coming back this way. It's playing a bomb here. Great shot. Man, and it does. And he gives a little oh, fist pump. Colin Davis. He can get up and about. <laughs> yes, he can. And, uh, it's just been confirmed I'm now favourite uncle. Good. She did the right to, thing. Uh, Three-year-old Eliza. You going to a birthday party? It's tonight, unfortunately, so I'm missing it. No longer the favourite uncle. Well, you know, <laughs> not everybody gets a shout-out on Facebook, so... <laughs> I'm still in and around. In fact, the other uncle didn't go anyway, so. Yeah. Boom, I'm on fire. It's a difficult shot to try and wrestle it back now, Tris. What does he do? Does he try and come up through AG's Yeah, Adrian's I think he just bowl needs or to Benny open it up a bit, doesn't he? Yeah, I think so. He's stalking it. Might be a bit high for that weight. It's coming. He's closer than I thought. Just great shot. That's unreal. Mm. He is. That swooped a lot, didn't it? I keep going to call him a kid, but that's not right. I mean, he's, oh, he's grabbed old this now, opportunity. But, uh, and very, very talented. Yeah. Speaking of talented, D Mac for Altona picks up another single. He leads 4 2 in his match over Josh Corliss. And now 9 1. For Nathan Dogger-Wilson, he's picked up a few big scores. He's had a four and a three. A couple of singles to go with. Tim Mack, of course, another legend out there tonight. Yeah. I don't think you'd meet too many nicer blokes in yeah. bowls. Fit as a feel. Personal trainer. In years gone by, now working at Altona Bowls Club. Yeah. I don't know if he still nice does guy. any personal training on the side. But Not sure. I spoke to him uh, at length in Perth. He was playing for the Victorian Thunder. Mm. And uh, he'd been really looking after himself. Hadn't had a drink in six months and just looked in tip-top shape. Performed pretty well too. So. Yeah. I played the Vic Open with Dane a few years mm. ago. and got. He did, the mixed pairs. Yep. How did you go in that one? No, I'm a genuine question. I, we got a gold was medal. Winning? In that yeah, one. I didn't. Yeah. Sure, I knew you were in the finals, but yeah, that was back in the ship days. It was indeed. Yeah, under the dome. What 
one is this too, maybe two and a look to Bandura. It's hard to tell from this angle. It is. Get back to the behind the head angle. So you're so special you got an extra S in there. Yeah, Chris. I know. Truce with two S's in the uh, name. It's all right. As long as it's not an H. Yeah, no, we won't do that to you. <laughs> Benny just asking this to get a little wider. Probably. It's close. Needs a couple more spins as well, but no chance. I, I, it's really hard to tell whether it's two or three trips. Mm. From the angle we're sitting, I don't know whether we could say anything definitively. Maddie's got two bowls anyway, so it could well change. Yeah, true. Bit of purpose here from Maddie Alal. I reckon he's going to find... Some front traffic. He did. Well, he's cut it back. I don't know whether it was two or three, but it matters not now. It's only one. Mm. And given a bit of extra room. So see this one come in. Just collects Cam Wilson's bowl. Careers into the head. It was never far off, so that was always an option. Benny Hubbard wants to come down and have a look. So we're down here at Bundura Bowls Club. You're in the area. Come on down. The club sponsored by Rocon Proprietary Limited. The company's been around since 1999 and grown to become one of Victoria's leading civil works contractors. Their success and reputation lie in trusted partnerships they build with their clients and the community, turning visions into reality and challenges into solutions. What they promise is what they deliver. That's our commitment to you. Speaking of turning challenges into solutions, what can Benny Hubbard do? Not quite as wide as his first. Right. He's got the task now resting with Matty Alal. Yeah, he's studying his head because he can play a good shot here and still go more than one down. He's only one down. Sometimes it's... um. He has to play perfect weight. The back is all Bandura. It's it's hard to make numbers, really, isn't it? I mean, yeah. Pushing the jack out. He has to play perfect weight. It's, it's just risky. Kind of, it goes too far, yeah. as you say. So it's yeah. And sometimes you just got to take your medicine. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he's got something else on. Very kindly, Henderson. So Matty Alol now on the mat. He loves these occasions, Matty Alol. Finds a way to rise to it. His weight's perfect, I reckon, to just pop this jack. He's just got oh. to get around. Great effort. One down. No great. He's probably happy with that, yep. considering what we're talking about. Yeah, there really was. Goes too hard. He goes three or four down, and yep. not worth it. So eight five is the lead to Bandura, and Hubbers Rink. Could be a cliffhanger. Still, could be a cliffhanger. Mm. Even without yeah. Jimmy, it's always cliffhanger with Jimmy. We don't need Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy who, I say. <laughs> the 40-year-old. At least. <laughs> of course, we're missing Sam tonight too. Yeah. He's out covering uh, Bowls Victoria's Junior League finals. That's another great start. Thereabouts. Yeah, his weight's spot on. Yep. Doesn't seem to miss much. As I said earlier, it's the first time I've ever seen Benny Cotter play. And uh, safe to say I'm impressed. 
Yeah, he's going well, isn't he? Mm. Aaron Disco Wilson picks up a single on the rink next door. Still trailing, but only just 10-8. They've also played eight ends. The danger we've got, TD, is that we're on eight ends over this side and the far rink is only on five yeah. with a couple of killed ends. So we won't be able to move cameras that far if it gets to it later on, but we'll see what we can do. Benny Cotter was an absolute peach with his second. Yeah, I was just watching that far rink. Benny Winth has been under the pump. He just played a bomb. Unfortunately, he was a bit stiff, but he's still down, 1-9. They're about to update the board. I'm not sure how many it was. So, just one. One ten. Oh, Haley, great up. reply. Oh, well played. Great it's shot. Great battle. She's playing in the triples with the, in the region with Jan Hurst and Kamari. The new addition out at Altona. Fair rink. Kamari, yeah. of course, played for Sri Lanka. He the, did. Uh, World Bowls. Three months ago, or thereabouts. Yep. And uh, former Richmond player. That's right, yeah. Mm. She's watching, actually. Yeah. So. And worked with my wife. Does she? Many years ago. She, you won't find a much nicer person than Kamari. Yeah, she's lovely. She's lovely. And a very good bowler. Yeah. Jan Hurst, of course, an excellent bowler too. So that'll be a strong combination, those three. Yep. Oh, thanks, Barb. Safe to say I'm being held up by Tristan Stop and it. Barb. She's always good. On the green or off the green. It's good weight. That was really good weight for what he's trying to do, wasn't yeah. it? It's a good bit of turn out of those bowls too. The XGs? Yeah, they are. Size for uh, hence lot XGs. In fact, almost the exact same bowl as Maddie Alol. Uh, one of them has grips and the other doesn't. I think it's Maddie's that has a, a grip, but I could be wrong. But 80. Ooh, mm. Came in like a wrecking ball. It did. <laughs> yeah, G Stewart, you're spot on. These leads are having an awesome battle. And uh, I don't know if I could pick a winner out of the two at the moment. They've both been very, very good. And uh, good evening to, or good morning to you, Mike, from Aberystwyth in Wales. Lovely to have you watching us as we bring you this uh, Round 8 Metropolitan Premier Division match brought to you by BCIB, Bandura v Altona. It's the two teams that sit just out of the top four. So this one means a bit to both teams. Of course, our stream brought to you by Moama Bowls Club, strong supporters of Bowls Victoria, and Dandenong Club, who've come on board this year to support our stream. In, uh, what's hopefully an extension of an already existing partnership that lasts for many years. Of course, they've hosted our Premier Division final for the last few years. Posty has played, oh, he nearly sat that bowl. So he has been on yeah. fire. On and it. 80's bowl's in a great spot now. So yeah. he wasn't shy. It's better than being shy of the, the head. So he's finished in a great spot for them as well. BJ Anderson saying he taught Benny Cotter everything he knows. So there you go. Well played. Another champ from Lara. Mm. Of course, Beach had a very successful VBL 2. I think he may have taught Benny Cotter too much. You might not want to play against him these days. He's been on fire tonight. Mm. Yeah, that doesn't help. Bit of a stiff result, yeah. No great danger just yet. Was Lara green and yellow? Uh, yes, the Jets. Is that where Sam Shanahan started? Yes, correct. Yeah. Gee, you went back a long way. I wasn't sure how it's far back you hurting my brain. Go, <laughs> yeah, Brenda Numbers. Yeah, a few good players have come out. Yeah. Flara. Mm, wrong. Lovely bowl from Posty. Great Just fallen the wrong way, unfortunately for him. So I'm, could still be in there. 
close. Yeah, he's probably just trying to tuck it around out of sight and yeah. change that sight anyway. So look at that angle, and it's probably not in there, so still holding just the one, but wasn't far away it's with his good first, spot. and his second was real good. Cam having a little look at this. Just anything Swing under. On him. It's kind of an awkward shot now for Bundy, isn't it? I mean, the forehand side is blocked for a right-hander. So they've almost got to come backhand onto Haley O'Reilly's bowl. Yep. No great danger. They move the jack back a touch. Yeah, back slice is fine. Not bad at all. I'm tipping that Maddie won't be short with this. But this is one of these ones. I'll say it's Benny first. He'll be trying to change it somehow. Mm. Yeah, Tuck spot on, jack. Funky. Sorry, Tris. There you go. Uh, we will do that uh, if we need to, Funky, that's for sure. Particularly if it's close. Yeah, for the and far ring. Sure yeah. That we do whatever we can to bring you the action here from Bundura Bowls Club. It's trying to get down. Yeah, there's a good bit of turn out that Another hand. Another one in the net. Just a couple of spins too far. For Benny Hubbard, but as you say, finishes in a good spot. Matty Alal says, I'm changing this up. Oh, well. He's very stiff. Jack gets spat sideways into mm. some traffic. And then somehow he's manages to up. kick a goal. Yeah, three and a look. To says, be fair, uh, Altona's been in a bit of a bit of trouble at the back. I mean, scratching all end of the you need you need those back bowls. So even that if he he played a good shot. He's three down. Yeah. I mean Matty Alal still has you know three or four foot to be able to draw in. Mm. Depending on what happens here. Great shot here I think. Yeah that's well yeah. It's counting for now. And it's not usable. That's right. Yeah, it's not sitting there. So well played. Matty's really in the zone, though. You can see it in his mm. face. Oh, he sort of gave that the drawback of the hand, worried that it was a bit heavy. It's it is a touch heavy. It's good enough, no, I reckon. Good shot. It's numero uno. No, that's well played. That is Great bowls. Drive and draw. I have to check my body language game on Matty Alal. Yeah, looked to me like he wasn't happy with it, but he should be. Maybe I just misread everything. Andy McDonald, uh, thank you for your comments. The bowls used tonight. This is Haley O'Reilly on the match. She's using a Hensolite XG, purple in colour. Size 3. Size 3, correct. Uh, her second is uh, Colin Davis. He's using a Hensolite XG as well, which is a light blue colour, the same as Matty Alull. They're both size four. Cam Wilson playing third for Altona is using a Hensolite XG golden green splice, size three. For Bandura, slightly different. Benny Cotter is using a Hensolite XG, size three. Adrian Marcioli and Liam Turner, both two and three, are using Aero Optimus, size three. And Benny Hubber, and a long time Hensolite player, who's using a Hensolite XG size 4. Great start again from Haley there. Yeah, she does not miss many. Oh. Dan O'Neill picks up another single on his rink. They played nine ends. He's leading 11 to 8. Battle of the leads. Ben had beautiful weight on that one. Just landed on Haley's bowl. Josh Corliss picks up a single over on uh, his rink against Dame McKinnon. They played eight ends there, and uh, DMAC having a slight advantage, 6 3. Uh, 
rink that's making the difference is Nathan Dogger Wilson. He's just picked up another two to lead 12 yep. 1 after seven ends. Early days, though. G just asking about the weather here. It's, it looks okay. Oh, I haven't checked the radar again, but it's um, it's okay here at the moment. The wind seems to have dropped off. I just hope that's not the calm before the storm. Yeah, absolutely. Likely to get a little bit of rain here in town tomorrow. Yeah. But uh, as only the Weather Bureau can do, it's somewhere between oh, 3 and 15 mil. Right. Pretty much tells us nothing. Harley O'Reilly still holding shot. Pundura with a couple of poles in a good spot, though. Andrew asking with um, with Gary and Corey out, is that an advantage, do we think, to Altona? Um, Look, I think any time you take a world champion... Yeah, maybe. Um, you know, for both <laughs> of them, both world champions, any time you take them out, it's probably a slight advantage to the opposition team, but... I'll tell you what, speaking to some of the Bundura players before the game, they said, well, we actually win when they're not here yep, um, just for unavailability. So sometimes it can uh, actually work to the advantage of the, the team. It sort of galvanises them and switches them on. So Everyone here is very capable. They've got the home ground advantage. Yeah, two players they brought in, Jesse Spicer and Caleb Shaw. We mentioned earlier club Caleb, champion. the current club singles champion. And... Uh, not sure how he would have got over the top of Adi Marcioli the way he's playing, but... Yeah, good call, Ben. Sorry, someone asking BV to live stream in Bendigo. Yep, send an email and I'm sure they'll look into it. Yeah, we do do quite a bit of streaming from Moama. So certainly a possibility. Good evening, Vince. Watching from Leppington. A regular viewer of our streams here on BV TV. Brought to you by Moana Bowls Club and the Dandenong Club. Cam's close here, even to roll Haley up. Mm. Just fell under slightly. Wilson picks up a single against Dean O'Neill. They've now played 10 ends. And uh, Dean O'Neill for Bundura leading 11-9. Mm. Few changes having having Corey and Gary out. But Dean was already skipping, wasn't he? He's been skipping last for most of the season, hasn't he? No, last uh, season yes, he played three so to Gary, but this season correct, I think he's been yeah. skipping. Chopper and Benny Hubbard were the two that uh, went from three to skip. Yeah. And both incredibly capable players. So. Yeah. Benny Hubbard recently named in the Yarra region side as skipper. And Chop, of course, skips for Yarra as well. Yeah. Jacob Brighton watching us from Machuca. Nice to see you watching us, Jacob. It'd be warm up there, I imagine. Yeah, well, if it's 45 in Swan Hill, mm. it wouldn't be too different in a Chuka, would it? Nice and warm. Also, where I was born, Tris. A Chuka. A Chuka. Right. A Murray. Or a Kaka, as some of my <laughs> friends would say. <laughs> you were born in a Kaka. Yeah. Did you grow up in a Kaka? No, I only spent a couple of years in a Kaka before okay. I moved slightly down the river to Cobram. Okay. Golf courses, Copper and Baruga. Mm. He's close here. He's going to rock. Oh, he's just pushed it too far. It's a bit stiff. Mm. He didn't kick Haley O'Reilly's bowl into some of the waiting yeah. Bandura bowls. He got his target. Mm. It's he's kind of been that sort of night. It for has, them, hasn't it? so far. Yep. The early days. Mm. You're a funny man, Bradley Marin. Mm. 
Good evening, Steve Weston. Hope you're enjoying the coverage tonight, mate. Good luck for tomorrow. If this is two or three, Tris, I'm going to say it's three, but... Looks like three from here. Yep. Penny Hubbard's... Captain Matty Penny has Hubbard's been ball. under a lot of pressure in this game so far, hasn't he? He has. Uh, well, we saw the last one. He was four and a mech, yep. four and a look down and draws the shot. Hitting the other way, he rolled a jack into the ditch. And well, he's got to make contact there. here. Evening, die. Yeah, it would be a bit warm up your way. Hope you and Wayne are well. He's close here. He's still... Oh. There's going to be contact, Chris. Oh, yeah, yep. this. Yeah. And if it gets the shot Maybe or not. Maybe got third? May have just fallen out. He's got another bowl anyway. Yep. Nice atmosphere down here tonight at Bundura Bowls Club. If you're close by, drop on in, support your local bowls club. Always a friendly face at any bowls club. Yeah, the vibe's kind of bu building, isn't mm. it? You see some of the Mooney Valley boys sitting around. Yep. A lot of locals here. So Churchy sitting over there watching the bowls. Nick McIntyre over there. Nicky Mack, he played here yep, for many years. Indeed. He's up against uh, Heathmont tomorrow. Is that at Whittlesea or at Heathmont? At Whittlesea, yeah. Mm. It'd be a good match. Mm. Actually, a few of the Whittlesea boys were here. I saw earlier too. Here's our teams listed. Good bit of experience there. A slight typo in Damon De Florio, which we apologised for earlier. Some pretty handy rinks on both teams. All right, what's Matty got this time? See, again here, he has to play perfect weight. He really... Trail's not awesome. Got a little bit. He's got Haley out the back, but it's not far away, Tris. Just dead draw it. This is not far away. That is a great shot. Yep. Yeah, get some high fives. He's playing well. He is. Or he's the type of guy, Matty Alol, that if you had one ball for your life, but he'd have to be yeah. in attention to yeah. want him to play it. Not scared about pressure. Hello, Em. We're doing well. Hope Good you're well, Em. You. Yeah, presume yeah. you're still on cloud nine after the Marge Morris victory. Yeah. Played with Emma in the same rink. Yep. Penny might be just a touch under. Daryl's kidding, isn't he? Watching from Ashgabat. He's kidding. I think he might be. I think he might be. Peter Waters from Denali. Hello, good evening. Muddy. Yeah. Saw Muddy a couple of weeks ago playing night pennant for Montmorency, but plays weekend pennant for Denali. So. My, my good uncle. Fella. My family come from up Denali. Oh, right? do they really? Yep. Okay. Well, they would, gold, know, gold. they would know Pete. Pete Hunting knows country. everyone up there. Yeah, so that was a single to Altona. Yep. Yeah, still trailing, but you see the worm getting a little closer. A lot of singles in this match. There was a three on the opening end, and since then there hasn't been too many big scores. It's a good game. Yeah, sure is. There's been a lot of pressure on Matty. Mm. It's hard when that. It's hard to sustain that. And he's good enough. Yeah. To get the result more often than not. Bradley Marin saying, Tony, any chance you're putting in our entry for the Vic Open Triples this year? Who was our third? Was it Matty O? I just don't want to... I, I don't want to do that to you, Brad. <laughs> I wonder what you were going to say to that. Oh, I'd love the honour of playing with an Australian Pairs title. Yeah. 
Did you play with him last year? No. no. I, I thought he was Good I dead set thought he was joking. I thought there's no way in the world he's going to want to play with a chump like me. And he had a bit of a go at me, quite rightly. He said, why didn't you put the entry in? So I'll do it this year if you dead set keen. But you'll be disappointed, I'm just telling you now. Haley O'Reilly and Benny Cotter continuing Great their battles. Balls. Yep. Her back bowl's really helpful there. Mac Dame McKinnon picks up another single. Played nine ends. His lead is 7 3. It's over Josh Corliss. I can't see that last scoreboard, Tris. Is it still 1 12? I can't to see. Nathan Wilson. There's a couple of bodies in the road. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's 12 to Nathan Wilson. So. Yeah, 12 1. Still 12 still. 1. Okay. Seven ends. Larry's watching from Zimbabwe. <laughs> Dean O'Neill picks up a three. Fourteen nine is the lead to Dean O'Neill over Aaron Wilson now. I don't want to speak too soon, Tris, but I feel like the wind has just dropped a little bit. Yeah. Start to see a few more compact yep. heads. Apologies to the players when that uh, strikes the wind into action again. <laughs> Commentator's curse. Yeah. 80. What a bomb. It's a bit stiffy, half huh? the jack it? a yeah. little bit. Good shot nonetheless. He's thereabouts all the time. Doesn't have many yeah, loose bowls. Yeah, true. Bradley Marin has just said uh, in the comments that he's in the print. We're doing it. We uh, may have to convince Matty O. He's seen the way I bowl. But entries have opened today for the Henselot Victorian Open. So anybody keen? Get your entries in. Get your entries in. Early bird pricing now for a little while. And uh, I promise you... You will have a fun time. Chance to win a share of $100,000 plus in prize money. Evening to you, Jeff. Shout out to uh, your son, Tommy Graham. He was in the comments earlier, so no doubt he'll be watching. Watch us the live stream every Friday night. So lovely to have you watching, Jeff. We've got a crack of a match here. This is Bandura sitting in fifth position on the ladder and Altona sitting in sixth. So this one is all important for keeping in touch with the top four. And uh, round eight, so this is sort of the halfway mark of the season. Some last right, minute so changes to the Bandura lineup. Eight. Eric Kelly and Corey Wedlock both out. Be some pace on this. Benny's called Posty to go through the jack or the bowl here. He's got it. He's got the bowl out. Mm. We're two Bandura now. Well played. In fact, mm. I'm not 100% sure he has missed anything tonight. Liam and everything Turner. has, so far, the rub of the green, as we say, yeah. has probably gone Bandura's way. Yeah, a little bit. Yep. At the, so far. I mean, there's ebbs and flows, but yep. you'd say that, I think. And he's just asking where the Vic Open is being played. It is Gippsland. The uh, two host clubs uh, for the main part of the uh, tournament are Morwell and Traugan. But we'll use 
anywhere up to about 20 clubs across the Gippsland area, and you get a great opportunity to see some new clubs, see some new areas. Beautiful part of countryside down there. William just getting something out the back. Smart play. Uh, so well worthwhile coming down to see some of the clubs. The uh, facilities at both Tarelga and Morwell are amazing. You know, covered greens, you know, yep. bistros, bars, Pleasure the to whole bowl thing. Them. Yep. But what I love about that sort of event, you get to see some more regional clubs who put on a bit of good country hospitality. So get your entries in to the Henselite Victorian Open. So Matty Alal turns his back on that ball. Shout out Benny to Benny Winter. Winter over there. Both skips still with one bowl to come. So it's the interesting part about this Altona lineup. I mean, the quality everywhere, but they've got that devastating punch of an Aaron Wilson or a Nathan mm. Wilson. You might be able to keep one of them down, but very hard to keep them all down. Pressure on Matty Alal again. He's been good enough when asked the questions earlier tonight. That one, he just finds a little gap. It's hung a little bit on him. Benny Hubber. Has not much room, but room to draw another. Doesn't want to take the jack back. Probably bring Haley O'Reilly's bowl into play. Almost has to lay it down yep. on Adrian Marcioli's bowl. It'll be perfect, wouldn't it? Bowl. Easy from here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you could probably do it. I'd have 1,500 guys at that and never get it. Oh, Benny just asking this to go a bit wider. Apologises to his team. No harm, though. No. Right, you so could skip his bowl when you're holding two. Pretty even two. Yep. It is. We have played 11 of 21 ends here in the stream drink. And Bundura has won the end over on the Benny Winther rink. So down 12-1. Yep. Finally off that night. one. Yeah. Was so it just one? How many did they I get? I don't know. I haven't seen a scoreboard. It hasn't been updated yet. I mean, Ben had to play a bomb to get it. Mm. It's always players. hard when the other team gets away to such a head start, mm. too, because you're playing catch-up. You feel up. like you're chasing all day. Mm. Well, in actual fact, players are live scoring and they put the score onto Altona, which could just be force of habit, given they've won just about every other end. But uh, that'll get corrected pretty soon. Can they reverse it out on the live scoring now? Mm. It's definitely Bandura because they took the mat. Characteristic short bowl. In fact, I think that will be her first miss all evening. She's human. Yeah. Benny Cotter. Certainly not falling into that trap. He puts two right on it. Bandura have gone back to that slightly longer length here as well. Mm. 
No, it was twos to both teams over there, so. On the far rink? Yep. They probably did a double so up So they did it correct, yeah. Okay. Phew. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Thought I might have had to get on to Jimmy and being 40 now, he's probably past his bedtime. <laughs> Maddie really needs Bubba to be up with his next bowl. Yeah. The green is probably changing too. Yeah. As we as we move into the evening, out of twilight, it's probably slowing down a second or so. A little, yep. And and Bandura have just stretched this out a little bit further than they've been playing. Even 80 is a little bit short with that one. All right. Yeah, he just said sorry. Unusual for him. Doesn't miss too many. No. I've seen Haley O'Reilly miss one, which is very unusual. Equally as unusual, Adrian Marcioli missing one. This one's interesting. Maddie's on it. Just pulling up as well, so. We can't even see the flags or anything from under this... There's a couple Tent that just runned up, but over in the corner over there, and they're still sort of flapping every now and again, but nothing crazy. Yeah. Do swoop hard here. This one needs to work. Oh, they're just stopping dead. There we go. Mm. Even Liam Turner. Yep. Can have an off ball. Oh. Keeps on sailing through, but it did get a nice little straighten. Yep. Would have warranted an apology. But he gave it a chance, at least. He was up. Yep. All the players are very good at this level. I mean, they understand yep. sometimes. You get a bit of luck, but they're all very quick to apologise. And yep. No skiding over that sort of stuff. This is a bit of track from Liam Turner. Just needs to That's a fair up. correction. Yeah. That's a great shot. Just, uh, definitely fallen out. Yeah, good call, Matty Alal. Can afford to make contact on Liam Turner's last bowl. Or indeed the bowl of Benny Cotter. Try and push the jack back. Open it up otherwise. He's close, I think. Does he get down? Very close. Uh, well, That's a great exactly shot. exactly called. Fortunately, One to Bandura. doesn't quite get the shot for Altona supporters. Mm-hmm. Well called, well played. Just not quite the result, but four down to one down. Yep. Still take it. Oh, Vicky Pickett, don't say that. No, the range just started in Ocean Grove. No. You don't want rain. No. Make my hair go frizzy, Tris. <laughs> What we don't want is lightning. No, we don't want any of that. Benny just pulling up a little bit too. His line was spot on though. So what's next on your bowls calendar, Tris? Got some region stuff coming up? Or you? Uh, got a region triples final on Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Yeah, that's the. And then I take off overseas next week. So then I'm off for a little while. After your luck. Nice. Yeah, overseas After for Christmas and New Year's. Not taking the bowls overseas, I don't imagine. I don't think so, no. no. They'll have a little rest. A little Christmas break. Yeah, which will be nice. Yeah, half your luck. 
Yeah. Oh, gee, he was close again there. Yeah, well, that's a real good yeah. effort. Spot on with his line. Yeah, we're going to hot climate and cold climate, so I don't know how I'm going to pack for that. I can't even pack 20 kilos to go to the Oz Open in <laughs> Queensland for a week. So That's why you've got to fly with a frequent flyer and get the extra baggage <laughs> allowance. Yep. Yeah. Darren's saying this deck looks so nice. Yeah, spot on. Yes. Yeah, that's a good call. It just, like, there's not a blade of grass out of place. It's nice. Uh, it's, players were telling me before the match you know, there was quite a significant headwind, so it was sort of 16 and a half with the wind and about 14 and a half against. So presumably that sort of evened out to be a good 15 or so seconds. And it does look lovely, doesn't it? Mm. Looking forward to playing yeah, it really on it does. on Sunday. A new Greek over here for the last season or two. I should know his name, but I don't. So apologies, but um, I do, but I've forgotten. Oh, well, there you go. That's helpful, isn't it? Someone will tell us in the chat, but yeah. uh, I know they're very happy. And by the look of this, you can see why. Oh, See what Matty's got with this one. He didn't miss by much with his last one. No, does he, he need to come? Kind of just edge off Cameron's bowl. Yeah. Or just under it. He's given it every chance, I think. Well, he'll get the gap. Yep. No, it's my fault. I've cursed him again. <laughs> Sorry, he wasn't Jeff. far away. No, it was a very good effort. It'll be one to Bandura. Thank you, Tommy. I knew somebody would tell us. Uh, Tommy Grahams, just let us know. Nick Schofield is the greenkeeper. And, uh, yeah, Thank you. Great job. That's right. So one more to Bundy. Unch is in the chat as well. Hope you're well, mate. Yeah, conditions are really good. It was quite blustery early, and there's still a bit of breeze every now and again, but it's actually quite comfortable. The breeze is probably making it comfortable. Yeah. It's pleasant. Pretty it's pleasant here. here. Yeah. Don't know that you'd like the breeze if you're on the green. It's no, just kicked off again now. Again, it's sort of... Uh, might come with that starting. little bit of rain that's on its way. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they did too, Barbara, spot on. Played in some torrential rain. I don't think we're going to get too much, but it'll just be annoying, I think. But you know, for some of us, it might even cool us down, so... This is... Bundy are really changing the length. Mm. Have you noticed? Like they're going minimums and then sort of maximums, and then I don't think they're. I don't know if it's a strategy, but they're not letting their opposition get comfortable. Let's put it that way. Yep. Just the difference seems to be those two rinks over the far side of the yeah. green. Nathan Wilson for Altona, Dave McKinnon for Altona, leading 14, 9, and 9 3 respectively. Uh, sorry, 14 3, I should say. And Bundy's still sort of keeping in it, but Altona's managing just to maintain the advantage. So this is Haley O'Reilly using a Hensolite XG. Started off like a house on fire, these two leads. Mm. Another great bowl from 80. Just promoting Ben. Pretty happy every time you had him in your rink, wouldn't you? I mean, oh, yeah. You just know he's going to be uber reliable. Yeah, he's just so steady. Yeah. If he misses, it's never going to be by yeah. much. And he's such a good guy too. Yeah. You can never hear anything negative out of his mouth. Good effort from Colin Davis. Might have heard in the effects, Mike, his skipper, Matty Alol, call him Bubba. Wasn't far off at all. 
I remember leading against Bummer probably eight or ten years ago out at Altona. Yeah, right. On a Saturday morning, and the, it had rained all night. Green was. <laughs> That's how long he's been in he's that been side. For a while, yeah. yeah. Altona, if you can stick around in that sort of team for that period yeah, of time, that's right. you're a good player. They've had some absolute jets of teams. Did they win it a few years ago? Yeah, they. Like, I know Melbourne's been pretty dominant, but Altona have as well. And that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so Unch, isn't he just? He's a superstar. Unch just saying that 80's a superstar. Yep. He's in the region side too. I think he's picked as a two for Yara. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Disco Aaron Wilson just picking up a single on the rink next door. They're still trailing. In touch. Down 10-16 to Dean O'Neill. <laughs> Bit of support around the place. Yeah, just trying to urge their team along. Back to seven shots now. And just updating that scoreboard over on Dame McKinnon's rink. It was in favour of Bandura. I can't see. They must have picked up a two, so. Chopper. This is known. Josh Corliss. Lowell, just a little lapsing concentration there, but he's back now. Yep. Just calling Cam to finish her map behind. Hayley holding the shot. Played it perfectly. Oh, it's not far from exactly what was requested. Dial we it just up. wanted to sit on the bowl, Adrian Marcioli, but close to. Still. Benny Hubber, a very cool cat, still wears his sunglasses at night. Yep. Loving fatherhood, he was telling yeah. me. How old would Bubs be now? It was not long before the Vic Open, I think, so it must be close to 12 months. Yep. Maybe not well, Yeah, it must be close. <laughs> Jacob asking, who's the most passionate side you've seen this season? For me, it's Mooney Valley. Without a doubt, 100%. Yeah. I'd uh, agree with that. Brilliant to watch. And I say this every Hard time. Because sometimes people think passion means aggression and, you know, trying to get in the face of their opponent, but they're not. They're very respectful. They do the right thing all the time, but they just love playing bowls. They love playing together. A good team to watch. Jeff Parker saying Colin played at Clayton. Their yeah, back-to-back flags in 2010 and 11. So there you go. Yeah, right. Shot here, knows it yeah. too. Starts clapping that a long way out, does Great Cam Wilson. Shot. It's worth a couple. Now, how do they get this jack back? Benny Hubbard wants to come down and have a look. Fair enough, too. So, we see this on the replay from Matty Alal. Knew it was shot. Yep. From a long way out. So, what's the shot here, Tris? Is it contact on the shot bowl to spit the jack back to. A waiting three for Bandura. Yeah, I'm just seeing how he can get the right angle on it, though, because he, he doesn't want it to spray out to near Cameron's feet because yep. there's two or three away. You see that one? Yes. But I don't think just... It's, it's probably going to go straight back to 80, the way it looks, isn't it? 
Straight I back think to 80s so. bowls. As you say, mm. the difficulty is how to get to it. Yeah. Darren Yates. Same Bubba also played the same team as the great Michael Wilkes. One of the uh, best Victorias produced Michael mm. Wilkes. Darren Yates, a very handy bowler too. Yep. Oh, it's Here a he goes. With way. Winding up. Gets it away as smooth as can be. Oh. Oh, well. He's done almost everything he wanted. That's a great shot. Bar one. Yeah, well, he's only one down, isn't he? Yeah, and that's right, so, and he was anyway. So yeah. We'll see this one come through. Right. Collects the shot ball out. he does have another ball. Just off on the edge. Yeah, and he was a bit stiff. Like, he, he's got to touch it too. Mm. Actually. What are the chances of Matty Lull drawing this, Trish? Do you reckon he can just sneak know, one in the like six or know, seven yards yeah. that he's got? <laughs> the way he's been playing. Well, there's really no other shot. So he's just trying to draw for a second here. Now, I hate to provide the commentator's curse, but I penned this one in already. Yeah. Put the house on it. The house is on. Needs to get in bounds. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. On behalf of Charles Victoria, <laughs> I apologise <laughs> to it's all just, Altona just fans, Matty Lowell and, uh, well... The wind just had Human that. nature in general. He's just having a real laugh at that. That's great. That's that right. is. It's the only way you can respond. A thousand percent my fault. <laughs> I've let just Altona the down. I've let Maddie Alol down. <laughs> and I've let myself down. <laughs> I was on board. I'm guilty. And I've lost my house. It's... <laughs> It's just occurred to me. <laughs> I am now... Homeless? Sands home. Goodness me. Cody, there's a house in the mail coming your way. I am an embarrassment. So, quick score check from around yeah. the rings. Dean O'Neill yeah. for Bandura leading Aaron Wilson from Altona, 16-10. Dane McKinnon from Altona leading Josh Corliss from Bandura, 9-5. Nathan Wilson having a day out over on the far rink. He's leading 14-3 over Benny Winter. In fact, they've just updated the board. It's now 18-4 after 11 ends. Ouch. So, wow, that is an absolute day out. Yep. To Nathan Wilson in the Altona rink. Bundura really need to peg that rink back, you know. Losing, I've always said, and I'll say it again, losing rinks win overall. Yep. So if you happen to be in that losing rink, if you can just keep it in single digits, you give the other three rinks a chance to cover. Um, losing rinks win overalls. Yep. The concern is the numbers, mm. uh, multiples in almost every end. They dropped two singles and almost everything since then has been a multiple. So Clanger. Including a couple of fours and a three. So. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew Daly. Yep. Uh, He's all over it. Yeah. If I ever give you a, he will too, a horse you? tip or anything, yeah. just to safely ignore... I believe Benny Winther will peg it back as well, Unch. Yeah, he's, he's a handy uh, player. Yeah. Uh, there's no keeping him down for too long. And I'm sure we've all been there, and he's been there probably many times. Everyone knows what, what's going to happen. Yep. What's Benny Cotto got? He's got talent, that's for sure. Gee, he's been steady. He's just started to edge ahead of Haley yeah, O'Reilly over yeah, the last I'd few ends. They had an absolute... Ding dong battle for probably the first 10 ends since yeah. then. And he's just managed to edge away. Maybe as the green has changed slightly, mm. I would say. Here comes Bubba. Still feels weird calling him Bubba. Doesn't look like Bubba. Great shot. Q 
Aaron Wilson picks up a three. Big in the context of mm. this match. And we're trailing by six shots. that cut the margin back to just three. 80 just looking to add here. That's a great ball. Yeah, pretty handy. Front end in this rink for Bandura. Adding and stopping the trail. Yep. Yeah, Doing they've their job well it. and truly. Oh, and D-Mac picks up a four, so this one starting to get to a real difficult stage for Bandura. Two good bowls. Great shot. Yeah, well played. He used his own bowl. He's chatting to Matty Alol before area. the match. And he said, look, they don't feel like they're playing bad as much as they're sitting six on the ladder. The two washouts obviously haven't helped. Uh, you turn a couple of those results around. They feel like they're good enough to do anything. Yeah, well, there's not much in it across the board, really. It's a ga one game here or there for, you know, at this level. It's the beauty with eight team sections. Mm. Jimmy Whitehead just poured himself a uh, Bon Ox and managed to find a young person to turn on Facebook for him. <laughs> but he is spot on, though. Matty Alol has got the guns out. I mentioned earlier, he's got shoulders on his shoulders at the moment, Jimmy. He's looking huge. Been looked after very well here at Bundura Bowls Club. Life member of Bowls Victoria. Johnny Roberts has just come past to offer us all the water. Absolute legend. What a star. He's president at this club for many years and tireless worker, as he is for his region, his state yep. and his country. So thoroughly deserving of life membership. We're very lucky to have him in the region. Yeah, certainly are at Yarra region. Yep. Of course, he was uh, awarded life membership only a couple of weeks ago in a formal sense. Alongside his great mate Bobby Carlson, who everything you say about John Roberts, you can almost say the same about Bob. And then two of the best players the state's ever produced in Carla Krasanik, who's won a host of world titles and Commonwealth Games gold medals. Alongside Matty Flapper, four thoroughly deserving individuals. We've all done a lot for the sport. Jeez, Posty's not far away, just in the one. area again. Spin too little. Yeah, Benny, we need Bundy to get up here to keep this one close. Margin's now got out to 16. It sort of hovered around that 5, 6, 7 for a while. Nathan Wilson's gone for a big drive next door and has missed. Oh, not next door, I should say, on the far side of the green. So we'll keep an eye on that. Might be some numbers for Ben Winther. Yeah, well, I do need them. They're down 18 4. Posty. Balls of Posty. What a shot. Don't know if it actually gets shot. But Possibly not, but it's a ripping shot all yeah, the same. It is. I mean, this is a tough head for Maddie to play to, really. Yeah, what's He's he, got one what's ball he, in the hand. Danger here, yeah, danger <laughs> left, danger right. What I really value about Matty Alolo is he doesn't see danger. Like, he's so confident. Yep. He just, well, I've just got to tighten up and yeah. hit it straight on the nose. Professional. Yep. You really can't see, what you, he doesn't show a lot whether he's up or down too, which is, mm. he's close here. It's pretty good effort. He's going to get down. It's a Little pretty good effort. Nose up. Oh. oh, he's just a touch stiff that Jeez, he has the been jack. A, they've been a bit unlucky. Yeah. Yeah, the little 50-50s have just not gone their way tonight. Yeah. Having said that, I mean, they're three shots down on this ring. Yeah. And they're up 16 overall, so. And he's got a shot here where, you know, depending on what Benny does, there's a shot for him to pop it through to Haley's bowl now. Yeah, Darren Yates agreeing, two of the best officials in bowls. Uh, officiated at Commonwealth Games, World Championships, State Championships, Australian Opens, yeah. the whole lot. You know you're in good Bob hands with those two. True. 
Speaking of good hands, Tris. Here we go. Oh. Surgical. Ooh. Nelly fell back. Yep. Great effort from Benny Hubbard. So Bundura did get the result on that far rink. Of course, it's Benny Hubbard's rink. Picked up a single. Benny Winther. Did I say Benny Hubbard, did no. I? I think I did, sorry. So does Replaying that take him that. to five or six? Six. Six, so they picked yeah. up two, so didn't make sense in my head as I replayed that. That's okay. That's um very quick. That's piece. good. It might be the start of something. Correct. Oh, well played. He got shot out of it. Well, I think that's what he was aiming for. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, 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 it's a good shot. Straight onto the jack and pushes it out. And from there, there were always a couple of different options. He had some catches. because he's, he's been up against it yeah, a bit. He sure did. Thank you for your kind comments, David. It's uh, been a good game so far. That I mentioned earlier, it's been very hard to split the leads. The twos have had a pretty good battle. Threes have probably gone to Liam Turner, if I'm being honest. He's quite walking on water, but very close to it. Oh, Jack Clean here. Oh, he's got it. Not out, of out, of bounds. out of bounds. There it is, so we'll reset and play that one again. Good Surely shot, they're not going to bring bowls back. Every ball's down there. Yeah, no. They are. They are. <laughs> Talk me through your stance on that, Tris. Are you... If you've got that option, are you taking bowls back or are you happy to play from there? Or? I generally just play from there, but okay. it, it depends, I suppose, if there's something, you know, if you think that you're going better in one direction, maybe. Yep. I don't know. Good shot from Benny Hubbard. It looked at one stage like it was going to belly the jack, as we see. Yes, it did. The uh, rink scores here from across the green. And it's that one rink down the bottom. That's looking like the danger for Bandura. Two fours and a three. Chops rink seems to be running away a little bit too. Five yeah. thirteen. Yeah, Dmac just putting the foot down. Here we go. Start Ali again. Riley back. The Hensalight XGs. Great start. Yeah, well played. It's a great start. Pushing behind the jack. Evening, Jim. just looking to double up here. She's not a mile not far away. away is it? <laughs> Line spot on. Yep. Just slow down a touch near the end. There's Benny Cotter gone here, Tris. It's got the jack, I think. Yep. Eating jacks as if he's Pac-Man. <laughs> little saying in the office as we have our little carpet bowls over lunchtime. You eat the jack, you say waka 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 like you're Pac-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a bit of fun in the office. Yeah. I can just see uh, Brad, our producer, the mind ticking yeah. over if he can get a Pac-Man graphic up quickly. <laughs> <laughs> nice bowl from Colin Great Davis. Shot. Right. Yeah, 
Yeah, so Bandura picks up on the Dino Neil rink. Just a single low. So they're up 17-13. So no right. surprises that uh, Aaron Wilson will be the first rink off. Great shot, 80. Probably drew the, drew the shot there. Yep. Disco, one of the quickest on the mat. Isn't he? Yep. Dane McKinnon continues on his merry way. Picks up another two. Mm. Now leads 15-5 over Josh Corliss. Daniel yeah, very happy with that one. Yep. Numero uno. <laughs> Brad's working on your Pac-Man thing. Awesome. I love him. <laughs> so clever. I struggle to send a text message and he's <laughs> over there creating <laughs> graphics within half a second. Yeah. Eddie's weight was all right with that one. Just hung out on him. David's saying the rain's not too far away. Mm. Don't really want that to occur. It sort of feels like it's getting a little bit cooler, actually. It does, it? Starting to yeah. change. It's not going to be disastrous, don't get me wrong, but it'll just change things a little. Good wait there from Cameron. Just cut the head a little. Yeah, is it meant to rain all day tomorrow too? Is that the... Well, yes, but it's quite a range of 3 to 15 mils, but it is right in premium game time as to when the rain will come, so we might get a little, but it won't be, won't be disastrous. There you go, Benny Winther. Just drew the shot. Yeah. Nathan Wilson still has a bowl sitting on the bank, so give one more to come over there. Just going to go under as well. Yeah, yeah White's good. Very close. Hello, Pat. Uh, from Saskatchewan. She's uh, enjoying the stream and asking where are Jimmy and Josh. They were great last year. They are great all the time. Josh is actually playing tonight uh, back in his hometown and Jimmy has turned 40 tomorrow or is turning 40 tomorrow. So he's having a well-earned rest to rest his weary bones. To be fair, they could both talk underwater. Oh, not right. full of marbles. <laughs> well played, Ken Wilson. He started to come Great, good the last few weeks yeah, too, so getting into it. So yeah, Pat, uh, they will be back, uh, maybe even next week actually. But um, JT, Josh will come in for our Vic Opens and so on. Um, and David says it must be great to have a staff doing the work, Tony, while you play games. <laughs> yeah, correct. <laughs> yes. I only wish that was the case, but. Uh, <laughs> You've got to have a little bit of fun every now and again, don't you, Dave? Sounds like a good place to work. Yeah, it is. We've got some good staff. Bowls, Vic. Right, they're, they're not far away, but it's probably the two loosest bowls we've seen. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Hey. Oy. There we go. That happens from time to time here. It does. Mm. It does. Probably the two the loosest bowls from Lee and Turner. Yes, and they're... Just then. They're not far away, don't no. get me wrong at all. But just goes to show how just well... just turning a touch. Yeah. Oh, I feel that gust of wind. Mm. Just got him. Darren Yates just with a little subtle brag that Moema's going to have a great day tomorrow. <laughs> He's loving always, it up there. Always good weather up there, yeah. Yep. Made the move up there a year or two ago. Yeah, it's definitely changing. Yeah. I feel like the wind's the changed is, direction yeah. and everything. And it's cold. I had a jumper down there if I want. 
Okay, at the moment. Thank you. you bring... We can't even stand up and do star jumps. With no, the, uh... we can't. We're under... Marquee we're on. Set down quite low. Don't do much of the wind as we can. Bam Bam picked up another shot over on the far rink. Still trailing, but now back to 7-18. Yeah, they've won to pull four it back. of the last five ends, Tris. So. Momentum. Yep. Oh, the wind just, just getting got caught in, in that wind. Yeah. So this is one of these moments where if you if you allow for the wind, it's just stopped. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's just stopped. And if and you, you if you're ten foot through the yeah. head, he's got to give it a chance. <laughs> That's a great oh. shot in these conditions. Millimeter perfect. That's great. You can the see lightest of edges off Liam Turner's bowl, but it would have got there anyway, so well played, Matty Alo. Fight this wind, he's close. He's not far away, okay. just a touch under maybe. This is at least three. It is three. Great. So that levels us up, Tris. Mm. First time all match. Good game for the live stream. For the viewers at home. Right, second time, my apologies. Yeah, John, look, sometimes it is worth taking the bowls back if it's a dead end. It just depends on how the game's going, really, and it depends. It is funny, isn't it? I mean, far be it from me to ever offering you advice on bowls, but night pin it the other night, I felt like I could really find at one end and not yeah, the other, so in that instance I'd be doing it. Yeah, same. How are you going in your night pin it? Well, I missed the first two weeks uh, through work stuff, but uh, two wins from two in the last two weeks. So Have a lost a game? No, not yet. Not yet, but don't put your house on me. You saw what I did <laughs> earlier. No, really enjoying it, actually. I'm playing with a mate of mine, Peter Burke, at uh, Rosanna now, and okay, uh, he's good. a good fellow. Even if we weren't getting a win, we would have a good time. Great bowls from Hayley. Yep. The battle continues with these two leads. Yep. Yeah, in this win, that is pretty good leads bowls. Yep. Just draws the shot. We may be lucky and just catch the edge of this rain, you know. Are oh, you looking at the Across rain? Cross our fingers and toes, yeah. are just moving around a bit in this wind. Can Bubba make it two? He's not. Yeah, 
it's mm -hmm. probably not a bad area to finish. Well, if you're behind, you're in the game, aren't you? Yep. Chris Hampshire just saying Mentone versus Dandenong in the reserves. Mentone 42 to 39. Okay. Mentone leading Dandenong. Yeah, well, by there three. You go. Dandenong's had a very good year so far. Yeah. Thanks for the updates. Keep them coming, yeah. Chris. Spent saying it's still 30 degrees in Mortier Lake. Really? Mm. It's not here. Yeah, the wind's got a bit of. Look, first world problems, but uh, yeah. the wind's just got a little bit of chill about it at the Has moment here. It's changed. And Ben off to see the Foo Fighters. Well, that should be... The Fooies. Yeah, nice bowl. Cam Wilson is just... Yeah, he's... he's starting to find it the last has. three or four ends. Yep. Well played by him. Is that three to Altona? Looking at it on the screen, it looks like three. Uh, yes, mm. that is three. So we see the Rokon signage down the uh, edge of the ring. They're a sponsor here of Bandura Bowls Club. Freshly come on board as a good supporter. As we watch Liam Turner on the mat. It's gone a little bit quiet the last couple of ends. It's brilliant early. Three down. He's a touch under to here. Mm. This is the area they come from, it's Tris. Cameron again, yep. He's all over it. He's up and about too. Yep. He's followed that one yep. down. He knew. Probably the only criticism. This is now a three and a half bowl target. All right, Posty. Needs to deliver. With the legs. I don't think it's mm. on that line. Just slightly under. Altona still holding quite comfortably. Four shots. Matty Alal walks his way backwards to the mat. to add, make this five. Probably looking to try to tuck this around just slightly, take that shot away. It's very close. Yeah, that's adds another one in there, that's for sure. And it's pretty yeah. good. He wants it to fall Charlie over. I just wanted it to go <laughs> a touch further. But. Uh, Funky, I haven't actually seen Barry as yet. He doesn't uh, trouble us at night pennant. He's tucked up in bed late at night, Barry. Well, uh, it's on a Tuesday night. It's one of my gripes about night pennant in some areas when they played on Tuesday night. It means all the people who might normally play Tuesday midweek pennant, pennant yep, yep. find it difficult to play both. So Good man, though. Yeah, yeah. Look, I hear really good things. So He's on the board of Yarra. Yep. There we go. And ben. Hubba's going with Wade. Yep. He sees this as a target. Got it. Wow. Great, Great shot. Effort. Cleared everything out yep. bar one. Yep. Good right. shot, Benny Hubbard. That's was a like, big target. That's like making four. Mm. From five down to one it down. Is. I thought Posty might have had a go at that with his second bowl, but um, obviously thought he could just draw it off. Mm. He actually never looked like missing that. No. It's a good shot. No, his, his drives, they do not mm. bounce at all. No. They are crisp. Here's Benny Hubbard. Doesn't bother, bother Matty Alol, though. He'll just throw another one in there, I'd imagine. One just hanging slightly. Needs to drop. And run. Yeah. Other than that. That's two beers I owe Matty Alol because I've put the curse <laughs> at him twice. <laughs> Oh, 
David said we've got about 20 minutes. Mm. Thanks. David, can you give us Mark some better you? news, please? All right, what's Benny got for his next trick? <laughs> Not for my next trick. <laughs> hey, Rocky. Aaron Wilson picks up another two. Trails 17-15 now against Dean O'Neill. Penny Hubbard might have just, just taken a touch too much yeah. off. It's all right. He did it with his first. Yeah. Took out four. As you say, it's, it's as good as picking up four. So we're down a number. Got it back yeah. to one. We don't look at that often enough that way. Mm. Oh, one down, but he's kind of made four shots there. Yep. Somebody explained it really well to me one day. He's in a fours game. If your skipper can add those shots when it really counts, that might be four or five shots throughout a match. And if they can cut it down when it counts like that, yeah, that's probably four or five shots a match. So you have one player making a, a plus ten differential on a really good day. Yeah. Is where skippers are worth their weight in gold. Massive. Is that old thing? Like, it's not necessarily... It's when you play them, too, I yeah. think, you know, isn't it? Dane McKinnon, over the last maybe half a dozen ends, he's won five of the six mm. for 12 or so shots. He's on fire, he's yep. back. Thank you, Andrew. And then Tone Dandenong having mm. a ding-dong affair. They've got 50 mm. ends and there's only a shot the difference. Dan and I think sitting second on the ladder. I was chatting with Nick McKenzie yesterday. And a mentone down the bottom. Yeah. yeah. So that's... Not the same end of the ladder as uh, Dandy. No, so that would be a bit of a scalp for them. Yep. Certainly strong enough, I think, still. Mm, no doubt. Mm. Twenty-three shot margin now for Altona. Silence the Bandura faithful. Yeah, it just feels like there's a bit of a change in momentum going on here. Yep. Limo's watching. Hi, Mike Limazani. What's Bubba got here? Just hung, hung a bit on him. Yep. It's beyond the jack though, Tris, so it can be used. Lesson for those playing at home. Short bowl's really back in it. So if you're going to miss, miss long. Yep, absolutely. They're in the game, aren't they? Maybe he gets a little friendly rub. Michael just saying that uh, Ben Cotter's father, Damo, is skipping for Lara tomorrow. There you go. The twos. Runs in the family. Yep. Yeah, if you see the guys with their phone on, it's because they're doing the live scoring. Um, they're not just sending text messages. Yeah, correct. <laughs> so. so the seconds in all of our Premier and Premier Reserve all live score each match, as we did in VBL. Not a scorecard used. Saving some trees, but uh, equally as important. We're enabling anyone to keep up with the scores, regardless of where they are. Making the job of the club administrators a bit easier too. It's win, win, win all around. So 80. I'm not sure whether that was by design. It's gone a long mm -hmm. way through. Bandura with some nice crisp signage of Rokon. Rokon's a civil engineering firm that has sponsored the club. Since 1999, Rokon has grown to become one of Victoria's leading civil works contractors. Success and reputation lie in trusted partnerships they build with their clients and the community. Trist, they turn visions into reality and challenges into solutions. What they promise is what they deliver. That's their commitment. 
Just like posting, they deliver. They do deliver. Mm. He has delivered. It's actually good to see these boards out. I'm not sure that I've seen that with other clubs just at a club level. It's good to see them made up and yep. out on the live screen. They do look live good. Screen. Of course, we use them in the Vic Open and those yes, sort of things, yeah. VBLs. Yeah. So, it's good to um, see it at club. A bit of extra signage. And on a night like tonight where you've got one game on the green, I mean, this is, you know, a seven-day drinker. Uh, there's plenty of room. Yeah. So why not? And... Uh, my understanding is it's been a good partnership from both Rocon's perspective and the club. So very smart operators here at Bandura, earning a bit of extra revenue for the club. Oh, the wind just got him on that one. He's asking yep. it to hold. He's been pretty good the last few ends, Cam Wilson, so let him have one off. Dino gets a big high five next door. See how many shots that was, but certainly it's the end of Bandura. Oh, well, they're turning from 17 up to 20, so they pick up a three. Of course, Dean looking forward to fatherhood, I'll say. Yeah, February, he's telling me, so it's coming around very or fast. Something. Yeah. All right, what's Maddie going to do? He's going to try and peel this shot bowl out or trail the jack. He's got Haley behind and Bubba. Here he goes. To get around that front one of Cameron's and down. It's not made it any easier. It's danger time for Bandura. Yeah, Tris. Yep. We've got 23 shots the difference with. Three quarters of the way through this match. They need a bit of a spark. It's a pretty good spot. I think what Benny was trying to do was split those four balls. The, no, the two purple and two blues, because he yep. was playing that sort of just through weight. Yeah. Um, and the yellow. So, right, if you got the jack right, it'd be six if you went with it, five without. I know 80's got a bowl right back, but... Yep. I think Benny was just trying to split the purples. Yeah, well, I mean, that is the danger, as you say. You can go mm. five or six down. It's it's a tough path. Yes, yeah. For Matty Halal to do, but he can do it. Might have to play a bit firmer now because the bowl's in his way. Here he goes. Just trying to thread Just. the needle. Well, I mean, unfortunately, he may have gone close to yeah, bringing in another right. one, but I still think that's worth a shot, though. I mean, it, you pick up five or six there, you probably ice the games and stuff. Yeah. So. It was worth it for sure. How's he coming into this, Tris? Is he trying to come through this way, potentially promote? Yeah, I think he will. Ben I think Connor's he'll play the ball. backhand. Yeah. Just too much risk the other side. It's not going to be easy to do, but he's Benny Hubber. A nice little channel if you can get down. Mm. No, it was always going to be a tough ask. Yeah. Worth a shot. Check and see if this is one or two. <laughs> so measuring the closest Bandura bowl and then they'll put the tape on the two blue bowls. 
Just the one's my vote. What are you thinking, Tris? One. There you go. Today's a good day. I got one right. Good job, Tony. I got the ends wrong though, so not all good. Picks up a single. This is being played in Victoria in Australia, just to answer one of the questions on the live stream. That is a great start from Ben Cotter. Yeah, he's been very, very good. It, it looks, looks shorter on the camera than it does sitting here anyway. Mm. It's a great line to put in a mat. What's Hayley got? Need some air brakes and get mm. some. Get a foot off the ditch. Yeah, it's getting towards that time, isn't it, Unch? It's what are we got another 20 ends to play. 21 shots the diff. Not out of it, but we need to put some afterburners on soon. Benny Cotter's certainly doing his job. Yep. Hayley's got this. Well what a played. shot. She got it. Very Good well shot. played. What a shot yeah. from 80 gone quite the last few ends, but yeah. he's back with a vengeance, yeah. eating Jack's Pac-Man style. Coming. Oh, that works. Had two options there. If he was just a touch narrow like he was, comes up through Haley O'Reilly's bowl. His weight was good, wasn't it? Yep. Yes, Unch, you're right. Bundy have the ability to get up and about, just like Mooney Valley, but... um. Just does feel a tad quiet here right now. <laughs> I love it. Crowd goes up, crowd yeah. goes down. Colin Davis lets yeah. out of there go, oh. <laughs> It's not fair. <laughs> Why did that happen? <laughs> it was not far away. You know, you wonder how much, like, the presence of maybe a Gary Kelly too, mm. just getting up and about, yep. and Corey to, you know, both of them. Disco only has one bowl left and looks to be down a few on the head, so winding up. Big drive oh, next yeah. door from Aaron Wilson. Well, he takes out Luke Aello's bowl and at least one other, so 
see what the wash up is when it's done. Well, Turner got the shot, so he's a man that can do things others. Yeah, they cannot. look like they just expect him to do it. There wasn't mm. a lot of no. <laughs> but he just—he doesn't miss many at all, does he? No. Oh, he wasn't far oh, away. Good effort. Yep. Doesn't have to adjust much, that's for sure. Maybe just looking to sit Bubba's bowl here. Mm, that's the wrong edge of it. Yeah, it gets the other side of it. It sets up a good plan, doesn't it? Yeah. Santa hat in the background over there, too. Tell you what, Truce, this is not far away. Just going to find the same spot. Two good balls, though. Mm. Gave him a chance, didn't he? Shot there when Matty Alol does get to the mat. Just to roll over off Adi Marcioli's bowl onto the jack once. Pick up a couple. Moving the jack out. Jack just, back. Yeah, uh, just a bit. So roll the shot bowl onto the jack. Mm. I'll make it sound easy, don't I? Yeah, I don't know if he'll play that or try to play... We'll see. He may not have the chance now. No, after this. he may not. Gee, great oh. effort from Benny Hubbard. I don't think it quite counts, but it's a very close second. They're having a discussion about it. Yeah, there hasn't been a lot of that tonight. No. From both teams on, on this particular yeah. week. They've been. Pretty set with what they want to do. So purple onto the shot ball, pushes the jack back a yard. They've got a couple of catches there, haven't they? Yep. That looks like that's what he's playing too. So you think I should be a coach? I think so. I think you should play more. Where are you at from behind the desk? Tell you what. Close. Just going to duck oh, under. But good cider. He's not far away at all. Gives himself something else yeah, to work on now, has. too. That's right. His weight was about spot on. I've known people have been bowling only 40 minutes that know what shots to play and how to cool the head and. Give directions. It's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Speaking of impressive, is that Benny O'Loughlin's hair coming yes, out? Yes, it certainly back? is. It's yes. flailing in the wind. Yes. Someone Played who's him. follically challenged. <laughs> I am. Damn jealous. He be just looking to cover this bowl. Yeah. Needs to get up. Just doesn't quite have the steam. Still there, and like you said, he's got himself to work off now. Yep. Guys, right more on the line. He likes it. Oh, it's close. Wow. Oh, just needed another yard away. 
That was exactly the shot. Gee, he was so close, wasn't he there? Just you. checking if you're watching. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dean telling us that's Haley O'Reilly's sister with the sand head on down the back. Oh, okay. There you go. Come down to support her sister. Very nice. And of course, what are we? 18 days from Christmas or something, or maybe even less now. So yep. she's in the festive spirit already. It's December. Anything goes. Anything. Well, you know. <laughs> Christmas. Great start again there from Benny Cotter. It's close to best on ground for mine. Yes. Steady. Mm. We had two loose bowls all night. Hello, Carla Miles is watching. I think she just won her region singles. Oh, really? Congratulations. Yeah, nice. yep. Now, where is she? Is she shipped? golf now? Somebody will tell us. Chat. Someone will tell us. I think so. Of course, represented Norfolk Island, I think, didn't she? At yes, she did. She did. Great set. I saw her a couple Cotter. of times up there at Broad Beach because we were up there at the same time. Yeah, right. Yeah. Daughter of Anne Miles, of course, yes. Victorian superstar. Heavy at Hopper's Crossing, yeah. apparently. We're about to get some here in about 20 minutes. Right. Shot from Aye. Adrian Marcioli. You'll hear us call him 80. This is Colin Davis. You'll probably hear us call him Bubba. Yeah, everyone gets a nickname in bowls. True. If you're any good, that is. I don't have a nickname. I'm well, they call me idiot a lot. Oh, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> oh, good effort from Colin Davis. <laughs> they say stuff like, why are you even here? Yeah. Well, there's even clubs have shirts. We had shirts with uh, nicknames on the back. Mm. Mm. Duels, I remember that. Yeah. Good shots, 80. Very steady. Yep. It's putting some real pressure on Bubba. Yeah. Margin got out to 23 at one stage. I'm just pegging it back slightly, but. Oh, good shot. Under are still with work to do. Yeah, of course we can. A big shout out to everyone watching at Altona Bowls Club. You'll be liking what you're seeing, this 20 shot margin. About 18 ends left in this match. Give the faithful down there at Altona Bowls Club something to cheer for. Great club down there. Mm. It's a great atmosphere. They always look years. after you. Yeah. Yep. They have big Friday nights down there. They have the music and yep. lots of meat trays. And they do. It's a good vibe. Good bar staff too. Just an update there of the Mentone Dandenong game. Mentone in our 46 and Dandenong R54 mm. after 59. Thanks for the update, Andrew. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's a good miss from the postman yeah. there. He didn't want to take the jack at that speed. Bubba always lead in my book. Yeah. Only O'Reilly's been very good at lead, so you could maybe switch the two up if you need to. But. Oh, I, I always look at it as front end anyway. Well, it's a team. Yeah. You know, it's neither here nor there. Uh, someone commenting on Benny's hair. I think his hair looks great. <laughs> Benny Hopper. 
Yeah, he's a good-looking rooster, Benny Hubbard. He's put his hat on anyway. Must have heard you. <laughs> he has had some wild haircuts over the years. He gym, has, he has. I remember him from about 15, 20 yeah. years ago with the tips and the yeah, yeah. spiky thing like some 80s rock band. I think around with Barry Lester, I think, at the yes, time. So yeah. They would have been double trouble wherever they went. There's a few of them that had that. Yeah. The uh, acid wash jeans and the big white shoes. Did you wear those? No, I didn't. No, I've always had a little bit of decorum. Class, you think? I'll just get that camera changed, Brad. Thank you. Great shot there from Cameron. Cameron, yeah. I sort of hadn't really been anywhere near it with the first bowls from the Altona team, but... Benny Ken has Wilson's got everything to play for here, though. Like, mm. he can land the shot bowl, move the jack. It's, a, it's not a bad head to play to. Yeah, 100%. The only problem is still Matty Alol to come. Yep. And he does not miss much. He's close. Kind of been that sort of a night in some respects for Benny Hubbard. He's just been very close. He had a couple of beautiful drives earlier. Other than mm. that, he's been just a whisker off, adding each time. He's got to get under it. He has. Just going to pull up on him. It's wrought with danger for it Altona. Is. It sure is. Another couple of shots to Altona across the green. Nathan Wilson picks up one. Aaron Wilson picks up one. We're just giving shots to Wilsons everywhere. Dane McKinnon picks up two. So. He's on a march, isn't he? 21 to 6, mm. he's now leading. Oh, Benny's just hanging out there, not quite getting back. Did you say that Matty's got a fight coming up soon? No, you're supposed to have one last weekend, mm -hmm. uh, which you've been in training for for a little while. Um, but got called off, uh, not not due to him, not sure what the deal was. But okay. So generally he bulks up a little bit and then slims down leading into the fight. But didn't need to slim down, so he's still as big as a house. And I mean that in a muscle sense, not big as a house like myself. <laughs> Wonder well, Turner. You can't do much more. Eighteen ends gone of twenty-one. And, uh, Bandura really need to start to make a move, don't they? They're running out of ends fast. Yeah. Fourteen ends to go. Twenty-five shot margin. And they're still in line to pick up two rink wins, but just the margin of Dane McKinnon's and Nathan Wilson's rinks, twenty-one six and twenty-one eight respectively. Difficult to cover, isn't it? Yeah, that sure is. And even worse, I know I'll get in the office on Monday morning and Jimmy will say, see, you can't commentate, you can't get the close games. <laughs> so they don't do close games for me when I commentate. <laughs> Yeah, well, last time I saw Jimmy, we did the Clayton Melbourne game and it was down to Ali's last bowl. Yes, that's right. Mm. Well, thanks for rubbing it in, then it's so definitely, <laughs> definitely me and not you, <laughs> not <Yeah>. me. <laughs> There's been a few, hasn't there? There's been a few close. They're all Jimmy's, yeah. I think. There we go. Pac Man, Waka Waka, <laughs> eating jacks again is Benny Cotter.
What's the live stream game next week? You know? Uh, I do, actually. I'm going to keep you in suspense. Everybody can tune into that. I think people look forward to the Friday nights now to oh, watch the 100%. live stream. I mean, I know, look, I know I do. If I'm not at the game, I watch it yeah, religiously. Same. I just love it. Same. Uh, it is Deer Park of the Yarraville Footscray from Deer Park Bowls Club. Uh, so it'll be interesting rig yep. choices there as to who gets yep. a gig on the stream. I don't quite know who that'll be. How do you separate all the well, they're always talent of all superstars? Stream any one of those rigs. Yep. Um, Good shot again, Ben. You have a Footscray sort of up against it after being in the box seat last week and MCC getting over the top. So yep. they'll be looking to make amends both this week and next before everybody has a bit of a break for Christmas. It's three or four weeks off. Some of us jet off overseas and live the life of luxury. <laughs> Such a hassle having to pack for hot and cold. Oh, I know. Great it's shot. It's disgraceful, Bella. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well played. Come on, Davis. Bubba, as they call him. What goes through your mind as a player, Tris, when you're thinking we're 25 shots down with 14 ends? Are you... Are you resigning and trying to get rink wins at that stage or are you thinking, no, we can still do it, 14 ends is still enough? Oh, I'd be still in it. I think you're in it until you're mathematically not. <laughs> but I'm a bit like that, yeah. You're a competitive beast. Yeah, I think so. I think you've got to keep trying. Of course, you run the risk, you know, if you're chasing numbers, you can lose rinks. That's, yeah, you know, true. But, but I think you've still got to try, don't you? Yeah, I think you're right. Probably shows why you're as good a bowler as you are with that competitive instinct. We've had a fair couple of years. We have the Australian Open Pairs Final. Marge Morris Trophy in the Victorian winning women's team. Thanks. I think they're great tournaments. The Vic Open, the Oz Open, the those they're great tournaments. Everyone should get in them. Absolutely. And, and you know, it's funny. A lot of people say, oh, no, I'm not good enough to play that. It's not about that. It's not about you that You get the opportunity. All. If you happen to draw a really good player, well, that's your opportunity to play against the best. But even a mug like me, he's played in a couple of Australian Opens and won a couple of matches here and there. And one particular match, we were playing in a fours and there was, we were playing up against state players. We were no chance of beating them. But we did. They, well, and we just had a great day. Like, yeah. Anyone we, can beat anyone on any given absolutely. day. It's I just a great experience. And even when you, yeah. you, invariably, everyone gets knocked out at some stage, you sit around and go and watch bowls and catch up with mates and people you haven't seen Very in a social. While. Yep. So get your Vic Open entries in. The Hence a Lot Victorian Open entries open today. Early bird pricing, Tris. So people can get all yep. their entries in singles, pairs, triples, mixed pairs. All the fun. Make some new friends, get to Absolute. know new people, and you never know, you might get a gold medal. Yep. You won a title at the Vic Open, I think, last year, didn't you? The two titles, women's triples with uh, Sophie Kersman and Kate argent Bowden. Yep, that's right. And women's pairs with... AJ. AJ, Jenkins, that's right. He's gone AJ. to Clayton. She yeah. is a jet of a player. Yep. She, uh, all great girls, all those girls. Yeah, true. And Kate and Sophie are just... Gorgeous to play with inside yep. and out. They're just such fun. Uh, it's got the result. Knock the shot bowl and Jack comes through. Yeah. Yeah, AJ kind of, to me, is like an AD Marcioli we've seen tonight. Steady. Just uber reliable. Yeah. You know, if she ever misses, it's it's what most other people would call a good shot. And uh, a very good draw bowler. Absolutely. Well, we know you'll be back in the Vic Open. It's the place to be in March. Yep. It'll be there. They want to get their entries in, head to the BV website. Click on the links on the BV Facebook page. You'll be able to enter through Bowls Link. And like you said, it's those country clubs too that you get to go and visit and they put on a good lunch and you yep. get to meet some of the people. It's It's... 
it's great. Oh, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Head out to a Merbu North. That's right. what I was trying to think of. I was yeah. trying to think of the club, the Merbu. That's right. Just some terrific clubs. Soul to the earth. Very people. social out there at Merbu yep. North. They will look the after football you. Football club and the bowls club. And yep. See the graphic on the screen. This one's been neck and neck. Lots of singles yep. in this match. Thirteen all. Sign of a good game. Yep. Look at the rink next door scored 38 shots in their 20 ends. We've scored 26. Yeah. So we've definitely had a good close game. One Bandura, two Bandura, maybe two Bandura here. Anyway, back Cam's going to have something. Well, it's hard to see from this angle. I think actually would have said it was one, but I don't know. Oh, did he? There you go. No, as in, no I would say it's one. Oh, okay. Those 50 50 things I get wrong 90% of the time. So. Dean Martin saying a shout out to Cuz who's getting married in a few weeks. So congrats, Cuz. Liam Turner just apologising. Ask that one to hurry. Thunder are still holding shot though. Could be two. Oh, saying the rain has started in Furuskray. Okay, so it's probably not far away. They've actually raced through. It's pretty early. Yeah, they have gone it's pretty fast. I mean, there's a bit of a spike of rain coming in about 10 minutes. So okay. We may get a little bit, but nothing too crazy. I'm sure they'll stay out there as long as they can. Winther picks up another shot. He's working hard over there. He is, he is. Oh. It'll be one Altona. Yeah. Superstar Brad just trying to get all the equipment safely out of the rain that is headed our way, I think. So that's kicked Cam Wilson's bowl in for shot. Yeah. Matty Alol trying to work out how they build a number here. He's looking to knock Collins' bowl through 80's bowl. Yep. And I if like the jack it. moves, if the well, jack happens to move back to the far left mm. from here, it's left from it's on bad. your screen, it's yeah. right. You've got three of them, yeah. Spot on, TD. Mm. Oh, Mentone's kicked back a little against Dandy. Mentone 51, Dandenong 55. After 65 in, so they've still got oh, another close, game. close to 20 ends. Yeah. Thank you for that, Andrew Gillespie. Oh, just ducking on him. Yep. See the camera's wobbling in the wind here, so we'll see a couple that just missed the target slightly. Yeah, it's decision time for Benny Hubbard. Liam Turner just confirming a couple of things here. Joel Higgins say he needs the tipping, he needs Dandy Club to get up and win, so <laughs> I love it. Yeah, someone just asking about the transport. Yeah, I think the flight, mm. the Virgin flight was cancelled. Yep. Yeah, so we're missing two Corey Wedlock and Gary Kelly for Bandura. Oh, no, 
Yes, uh, Benny Haba. Does it come back from there, Truce? It does swoop there, but I don't know if he's got legs. Oh, oh well. Not a mile away. That's a great effort. Gonna be one effort. Altona. Yep. I think we've seen that with Benny Hubbard a few times tonight. It's very good effort. It's very close, just not quite on that occasion. 19 ends gone. Up and back. And this one remains close on this rink. 14-13 to Altona. Uh, on the last end next door, Aaron Wilson with two bowls to come. Dean O'Neill with one to come. Disco onto a, a shot over there by the looks of things. Yeah, everyone looks very interested. Yeah. Just not quite. Not quite. But half a jump in the air. Good opening bowl from Hayley yeah. O'Reilly. Lots of support for Hayley. It's nice. Yeah, she's gone very well tonight. This is where the game within a game gets important. They're going to want this rink win. Yep. The points are important. Jodie Fruen saying hello. Fruey, hello. Of course, another member. Yes. Victorian Lightning. Yes. Marge Morris winning team. Yes. And so was AJ that we were just talking about too. Yeah, correct. By the way. Hope you're well. Sorry. Hope you're well, Jody. I saw Ethan last week as well. Lovely young man, Jody's son. Yeah, he is. He mm. is very well mannered and a very good bowler, as is Judd. Indeed. Maybe a little back in a Vic shirt wouldn't go astray, says T Bone. Yeah, fair call. Indeed. He's done everything he's needed to do tonight as Matty Alol. Quality, quality player. Thanks, Wayne. It's a bit of movement from people. Some rain falling now. Nothing crazy, but it's it's going to be annoying. It empties, it empties people out pretty quickly, yeah, doesn't like, it? Why are all these people moving? <laughs> That's why. Scurrying for a little bit of cover. Yeah, so Bandura really want to get this rink. Yep. They're one down with two ends to play. Aaron Wilson picked up a couple on the last end next door. He's now all said and done on that. A rink win to Bandura, 21-19. So that'll make the Bundy faithful a touch happier. And they're looking for another rink win here. They're trailing 13-14. Unfortunately, Colin Davis just pumps up Aidy Marcioli's bowl. You're moving closer to me, too, <laughs> so you're trying to get out of the room. <laughs> it's just your charm, Tony. <laughs> Cam Wilson. And yes, the final stages of this match here. A stream brought to you by Moana Bowling Club. 
And Dandon on club, a great effort from Cam Wilson, who's been quite good in the second half of this match. Not quite gets shot back, but very close. Our producer Brad just breaks his knee on the way through. I'm just trying to shuffle a few things around here as the rain yeah. is coming in sideways and we're trying to protect all the equipment and ourselves. Liam Turner just turning the mat over there, so getting a little slippery out there. Disco, Disco and Dean will be happy. They're off, they're finished, yeah. they're done. I think they made it just in time. 21 19 to Dean. Good effort from Liam Turner. Sure was. Certainly see a lot more on the green now. All the players ducking in for cover whenever they can. Even Matty alal has gone and put a, uh, a hoodie on. Yeah, well played, Liam Turner. Finds the, the whole table across. Go, go, go that way too. slightest of gaps gets there. having some slight rain issues here so bear with us this is a bit of water coming in That continues picking up his singles, Tris. Okay. 10 to 21 for Benny. Yep. Eighteen ends gone over there. We've got an umpire out to determine a result of the Josh Corliss Dane McKinnon match. That's a big margin now to Dane McKinnon. Every okay. shot matters. Maddie just trying to draw to the plinth on this one. Jack's in Needs by to run. a metre. Yeah. Of course, this rain will be changing it yeah. as we speak. As if it wasn't hard enough. Yeah. Benny Hubbard, can he get through the traffic? He's done that. Does he have the legs? I'm not sure that he does. 
Right. Pandura pick up one, Tris. So we're on to the last end. And All square. Fighting for a rink win. 24 odd shots the difference. You have to say the match is against them. It's going to be a bit tough to win the overall, but... Yep. So they can pick up four points. That will at be least good. Yep. keep the scoreboard ticking over long term. Benny Cotter has been an absolute Great star start. tonight. Product BOG. from Lara. Should be very, very happy with himself. I don't know whether he's the type to go back and watch replays to see what he can improve, but there's not much to improve. He has been brilliant. Pretty closely followed by Haley O'Reilly too. Got her weight spot on there. She's been very steady tonight as well. Yeah. Result of that measure, a couple of rings over was Josh Corliss picking up a shot. Okay. So he now moves on to seven, trailing Dame McKinnon at 21. Good set from Benny Cotter again. Gotta love technology. Yeah. All right, 80's probably just looking to add another. Fourteen shots apiece. There's never really been much in this match. Needs to hurry. have had a ding-dong battle, these two rinks. Yeah, it's been a good game on the live stream. We certainly got the right rink. Spot. Well, I thought it was going to be glorious weather, and it's um, not quite. It's turned to you-know-what, hasn't mm. it? Benny Hubber likes it. It's pretty good. Davis, a pretty good track. He's close. Shot. Oh, what a cracker. <laughs> the crowd goes nuts. He's been pretty good tonight, Colt. Yeah. And this one, one of his best. Shot bowl, both shot bowls out of the way. And Jack back to a waiting three, maybe four. Three. Puts the pressure on, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Sure does. And there's the Pac-Man. Love it. <laughs> Gobbling up jacks. <laughs> Today's been a good day. Liam Turner's played very well this match. Pressure's on him now. 14 all press last end. 
two down. Maybe three down, three. I reckon. Yep. Yeah, I think the, both the blues of uh, Altona will be in and one of the purples. Just changing the plan as he got down to the mat. Has a look and says, no, I think I'd prefer to go on the forehand. Is he around 80s bowl or is he threading the needle? I wonder. It's hard to tell from this angle. I'm going to say he's threading the needle between 80s and Benny Cotter's. Yeah. Here he goes. Yes, he has to be under that. He is. What, Played a bomb. Very good effort. That's the shot, oh, I reckon. Oh, it's going to be close. close. I don't know if it is or not, but it should be. <laughs> should be. It's worth shot. If there's any justice in the world, it's shot. Actually, still probably had a little bit of room, too. Can come in a bowl narrow. And yep. Benny Winter has won the last four ends in a row over there. And he's actually won seven of the last nine. And still trailing. 12-21. Such as the good start that Nathan Wilson and his yep. rink had. Cameron's looking for the bowl. He only got it too. Is he... His second prize, the jack there. Is he, is he not too stressed if he's jack side? I would have thought so, it? yeah. And they only need one for the rink win. Now yeah. they're all kind of doesn't really matter, but... Evening, Gordy. I hope you're well. Yeah, it's a good effort. Again, he's had a pretty good yeah. match, Liam Turner. Can certainly hold his head high. Yeah, he's calling pot it or take the bowl. Take yep. the bowl. How is he, Tris? Close it's to got the jack. It, it's got the jack. Get the Pac-Man ready, Brad. <laughs> that is waka what a waka ripper. waka. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Eating jacks left, right, and centre here, Bundura. <laughs> Well, how much room is there here, Tris? Out a mat. Wow. From a long way out, that looked on target. If that camera will angle. Oh, thanks, Brad. Perfect. You're a step ahead. It's got the legs. Got the line. Doesn't quite have the legs, but yeah, the line is pretty good. It's got one more shot at it though. Does Matty Lultron pop the shot bowl? Is that? I would have thought so. Probably the safest yeah. option. Yeah. Does have two goes at it. And Benny Hubbard's only got one, so. I mean, he can just he can just draw through it and mm. pot it and see it. For two, really. Yeah, well, true. No need to be greedy. <laughs> well, he can play with impunity. I don't understand Is that. That's a big word. <laughs> <laughs> so just a cold draw to start off with. Uh, probably not quite. Quite. Just had a touch of rain, slowed things up a touch. Oh, it's been a good match here, Tris. Yep. BCIB Insurance Brokers, Metropolitan Pennant Partner. We bring you all of the coverage. Thanks, of course, to Moama Bowls Club and Dandenong Club Bowls Club. Some of the best bowlers in the state and indeed the land. All putting on a show each and every Friday night throughout the season. Here we go. Benny's last bowl. Just a, just a bit on his last. He doesn't need too much more, does he? Really no, 
Oh, that's another. He had a perfect line, so. Another five feet on his last. He's got to get down. A bit stiff for him. Yeah. Hard luck. He probably had good weight, to be fair, with that bowl. Mm. I think there's really too much danger for Matty Alol. We've got the rink sewn up. Players shake hands now. Let's see what happens. This last one, I don't think that's going to change too much. So We'll just try and get confirmation whether that was one or two. Players all shaking hands and congratulating each other. They've been played in very good spirits this match, Tris. Probably wouldn't expect too much else yeah, from this crew. Yeah, they all know each all other. Pretty good people. Not too, no one celebrating, not too salubrious. No, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Punity, salubrious. <laughs> I don't need to bring my bloody thesaurus next time I come. Yeah, I know, me too. I'm not even sure what, you know. It sounded good. It well does, delivered. doesn't it? Matty just saying that he thought our marquee was going to fly away. Yeah. We would have gone with it. Correct. It was right. a great game. It was just they the one. They played extremely well. They did. Puts In tough conditions. Yep. Important rink win, that one for Altona. We mentioned that Bundura yeah. would have ideally liked it, given the overall board. But uh, Altona now will pick up three of the four rinks. Um they should be pretty pleased with their performance, I reckon. This is a, a must-win match for both teams. Always hard to beat Bandura at Bandura. Absolutely. So, look. Hard to beat them anywhere, but especially at home. Well, this is true. Mm. So, it will solidify their position above Bandura on the... Solidify. On oh, <laughs> I can't keep up. <laughs> their position on the ladder. That is true. We see the tail of the tape as the two uh, bottom rinks, Dane McKinnon and Nathan Wilson, just opening up the worm. The other two stayed pretty close all day, but there's some big scores in there. It's the clangers, helped, isn't it? Helped Deltona through to a victory in tonight's match. Mm. This uh, has ended up being just Deltona too good on this occasion. We'll leave these last two rinks there. If you want to follow along the scores, you can do so via Bowls Link with the live scoring. An update for those listening for the Mentone Dandenong match. Mentone 61, Dandenong 64 after 75 ends. That match is being live scored as well, so you can follow that on Bowls Link too. Uh, Trius, thank you very much for joining us tonight. You're an absolute bloody legend. And, Thanks, Tony. Uh, nice to sit in the commentary booth with you for a little while, even though you did use some big words. <laughs> my little brain couldn't quite comprehend. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Thanks, Tony. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much to Brad from SEN, who's produced the show so wonderfully well, including the addition of the Pac-Man graphic, which we love so much. Of course, thank you to BCIB, our uh, Metropolitan Premier Division partner. Uh, they do wonders for bowls clubs across the country. If you're in need of any insurance, get on to BCIB. They will look after you. Good and proper. Uh, Moamba Bowls Club, Dan and On Club for sponsoring the stream. Thank you very much to them. They do enable us to bring you all of the coverage each and every Friday night on BVTV. And thank you very much to Bundura Bowls Club for hosting us tonight and their partner, Rokon. We will leave you with that. We look forward to bringing you the Round 9 match next week, which will be Deer Park v Footscray from 7pm on Friday night. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you.